Watch out, let's do I'm jugging. Now set your hand if your hand am I putting for two in your man if your man keep a looking. Act like a pussy, yo, yo, bitch, get took in. I'm not the type that won't fuck with the music. Who fuck with the music? Who stay on some fish? Oh, youngin' trapping out the band, though. From the ceiling fan till the damn flow. Trying to stack my money up. Cause that's the only way we can go. Tell my mama that I'm okay. See the money coming through the doorway. Got a bad bitch with a lot of money that's for play. Something's like this, though. Now I feel you. Now I feel you. Your demons drive me close to you. I can feel you.
Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel, or what? Welcome to the We Are City channel. If you're new here, welcome back for you guys. We've got Jack in the comments, Ajin as well, Miguel, um, Elijah as well. So good to have you all here with us. I've just put a little um, poll in chat in the, the comments there and things because I've seen a, a couple of little articles saying about City still do see Patrick Vieira as possibly a uh, possible successor to uh, you know Pep Guardiola. So I've put it in the chat there. Currently seven votes, 86% in favour of... Yeah, Patrick Vieira would be good enough. I'm not so convinced myself, but uh, it's up to you guys to vote. It's Manchester City versus Crystal Palace here today. City at home against the side that are very good. Patrick Vieira's side, they are getting better. Uh, Vieira's stepped into Crystal Palace and he's trying to completely change the way um, Palace play football. Not so much counter-attack anymore. He wants to play, you know, what you'd say, total football. The sort of football that is the most popular style around the world at the moment. And Vieira is doing his best and he's getting there, isn't he? And Palace are getting better and better. And I hope they have a bad game today because City need that. City team is on the left-hand side of your screen there. Edison starts in goal for us today. We've got Kyle Walker, Ruben Diaz, Merrick Laporte and Joao Cancelo in the back four. Rodri, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva in the midfield three, and it's Jack Grealish and Jesus on the wings, Phil Foden in that false nine role, which at the moment, he's making his own, isn't he, Phil Foden? He's been doing a fantastic job at that. I've noticed a few of you saying, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is for some people. Good night, even, uh, Jack Wilson said. I think that was a, a quote from the Truman Show, an old Jim Carrey film, I don't know if you've seen that, you guys, but uh, he says, in case you don't see you can have to, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, I think. Uh, the thing is, Conrad Zero says, come on City. A couple of predictions coming in already, which is good to see. Jack Wilson thinks a 3-1 win to Manchester City. Um, Ajin says a 3-0 win for Manchester City, expecting a clean sheet. Elijah's gone for a clean sheet also with a 5-0 win for Manchester City. A big one. So it could be a big win for City today. Jack says we need to stop Zaha and Edward. Quite right, Jack. Let's have a look at the, the two sides alongside each other here. So... That is the City side, of course, on the left-hand side. The three in midfield, the three up front and the four at the back. As for Palace here, I've put Gallagher as an attacking midfielder, where he can play. It just depends on what sort of phase of play, what sort of transition Crystal Palace are in, depending on that. I, I expect Kiate will sit and Gallagher and MacArthur either side, but then when they're attacking, Gallagher will play as the more forward-thinking of the midfield three. So it's Guaita in goal. They've got Ward, Guy, Anderson and Mitchell in the back four. Mitchell, pretty impressive young fullback. Kiate Gallagher on loan from Chelsea and MacArthur in the midfield three. Ayu on the uh, the right hand side. Zaha on the left hand side, and Edward up top. Edward, who is a, a good goal scorer, isn't he? he? Got that really nice goal against Arsenal the other week. Arsenal have won two 0 against Leicester City today. And if anyone's seen that Aaron Ramsdale um, save, what a save from a goalkeeper who you're looking at that and thinking. He should be England's number one. He should be England's number one. But that's a bit of a tangent. Edward scored against Arsenal. And the Arsenal got an equaliser uh, late on in that game. And again, Crystal Palace should have won 2-0. Uh, in the end, it finished 2-2. Two -two. Zaha in there as well. Wilfred Zaha. I think everyone who watches the Premier League knows this, the quality of Wilfred Zaha. He's been a very, very high quality player for such a long time now. And... I'm surprised he never got his big move because he did get his big move to Manchester United. He didn't work out. He's gone back to Crystal Palace, proved himself once again. I'm, I, was, I was surprised that he didn't get, you know, a move to a Liverpool, a Chelsea, an Arsenal, a Spurs, someone like that. Never happened for him. He's stuck at Crystal Palace. I think he is actually uh, an Arsenal fan, isn't it? Jesus is a great right winger, says Adjin, quite right. Jesus plays fantastic on that right hand side, better than he does at striker, doesn't he, really? Sophie says hello, she's predicting a 2 1 win. Is Sophie Greenwood? Elijah says Liverpool versus Brighton, Watts versus Southampton, Newcastle versus Chelsea, and Bur uh, Burnley versus Brentford today. Yeah, they are all three o'clock kickoffs. Are we unable in the UK, if you're in the UK, to watch all those games? I will tell you a couple of the places where the game's on. If you're not in the UK, that could possibly help you out in some way. So I'll go through a list of countries that you might be able to watch it in if you are there so uh, let's have a look it is on the the city website if you're in belgium and europe you're looking at play sports too in brazil star plus uh, cameroon super sport football and same for the most african countries if you're there uh, canada it's dazn the same goes for spain uh, denmark via play denmark um, Dominican, dominican republic it's on rush or sky hd so on sky football over there in south america um Ghana, super sport football. Again, any, if you're in an area African country, super sport is the way to go, really. Uh, India's on Geo TV. Jamaica is on Rush. I know Elijah asked before, he's on Rush. Uh, international, it is on Palace TV, which I, I don't quite understand that one. Uh, 
Most plays, it's DAZN, to be honest with you, or Rush, or the ones I've played, mentioned. Uh, Ziggo Sport Football, uh, for those who are in Holland, free sports channel for them. Sport TV Multiscreen, if you're in Portugal, or Sport TV 2. Um, anyone else there worth mentioning? I don't think so. Uh, United States, of course, NBCSN, NBC Sports dot com are on the NBC Sports app. So they're the places if you wanted to watch this game to look out to try and watch this one. So tactically, it's going to be an interesting game. I think the way Vieira sets up against the City side. I do, in fact, have a little new segment that will be coming at half time. I'm hoping it works. Um, I've, I've had a little bit of time to work on this, so I have worked on this a little bit. And that is going to be the Halftime Tactics Show. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of that right now for you guys. So I will be able to show you the tactical analysis. So as you can see here, Crystal Palace are in the red. City, that is the first team in the blue. And I will be able to show you the movements of the players, how we lined up. You know, will we see City like they usually do drop into a back three of Walker, Diaz and Laporte? You see Bernardo and De Bruyne go very high, don't we, in support of Phil Foden, Grealish and Jesus. Rodri pushes up into there and then Cancelo. He's sort of alongside Rodri, working together in a midfield too. And it's more of a 3-2-5, isn't it, in a way? Well, I've managed to create this now so you guys can watch it. I can even show you movements of who played the ball, where the ball needs to be played and so on. How Crystal Palace defend, whether they drop into a back five when they're defending. Whether it is, you know, like I said, a midfield three to try and crowd out. What you expect it would be from Crystal Palace is to crowd out the midfield. Because we do know that Phil Foden is going to spend a lot of this game dropping into these areas here. And when Foden drops here, that allows Jesus to make these runs across. And same for Jack Grealish. They, they hold the width through these two players. And when Jesus goes in like this, De Bruyne is coming round here. And when De Bruyne is coming round here, City obviously worked the ball in this area. Possibly the fullback today will be Walker with Foden. Foden will drop in there. Jesus will go inside. So the defenders have got to try and mark him. And when Jesus goes inside, De Bruyne has gone around this wide area. The ball comes in like this and De Bruyne can and put a tap in, in, you see. And that's the way it is, just putting it across the box of KDB. So that's the way I expect City to play today. We will go through all that through this tactics screen at the halftime in a little um, halftime tactics when we finally know, we know exactly how, you know, City and Crystal Palace are going to play. Obviously, we, we, got, we know the, the formation slightly, but it is going to be interesting, isn't it? And we'll, we'll see, I think a lot of the time, we'll see Phil Foden dropping in here. And that's why Crystal Palace, when Edouard drops in a little bit, I don't think they'll worry about Rodri, to be honest with you. I, I think Edward will drop in there. They will try and contain Phil Foden the best they can. And that's the issue for Crystal Palace is when Foden is contained, you get De Bruyne in spaces and Bernardo Silva in spaces like this. And once they're in spaces, you've got 1v1s. You know, Grealish, you need two on him. Bernardo Silva, you need two on him. You can't keep two on him at the same time as surrounding Phil Foden. So Crystal Palace may struggle defensively today. And we, we know the way City are going to play. City play the same way, don't we? And we break teams down the same way. Cancelo's going to spend a lot of his time going in and around and all over the place. So let's see. And I think this tactic screen that I've managed to build here will be really good for you guys to just understand things a little bit more, especially at um, half time and things. We can look at this tactic screen and say, this is the way City have played. This is the average positioning. This is what Foden has done. This is what Crystal Palace have done. And um, that's just the, you know, something I thought you guys would like because at half time I tend to do go for a little break which I still probably will go for a short five minute break or so but for 10 minutes I will be able to show you this tactic screen and we will be able to talk about the tactics in a little way as well so back to the live match today uh, Jack Wilson says Foden play like Messi and Jesus at Villa when like Villa sorry David Villa when Pep was at Barcelona Foden drops deep to receive and Jesus comes inside as the centre forward quite right Jack it is in a way, you could say similar to that 2010 Barcelona side that did win the Champions League against Manchester United. Foden in that false nine, um, who is the Lionel Messi, you could say, in that role. Pedro, the hard worker. We don't really have that, I'd say, in the Pedro role, because Pedro was a quality player, Pedro, but he was more of a hard worker up top. I don't consider Grealish that. I don't consider Jesus that. So I would say Jesus could be perhaps that. And David Villa did used to play at the left-hand side, which is similar to where Jack Grealish is playing. I don't think they're at all similar players, though. David Villa, much more of a, of a typical striker, really, who Pep liked to play out wide. Messi Magic says, well, we have a replacement coach for Pep. Yeah, I, I, personally... I'm not a big fan of Patrick Vieira as City Manager. I don't think he's good enough for the future. But it's totally up to you guys in the vote. Let us know what you guys think. I, I was very interested to know how you guys thought about things. And if you thought that City, um, you know, were in a position where they could bring in Patrick Vieira. We'd have to see. 
Jack Wilson says, Bernardo covers the hard work he really does. Bernardo Silva's um, got an engine on him, hasn't he, Bernardo Silva? He's up and down the field like nobody's business most of the time. So the side is coming out into the field. Now the substitutions anyway, Raheem Sterling, Cole Palmer, John Stones. Plenty of players on the bench and Crystal Palace are making their way into the tunnel. Adjarin says, better say, do all the jobs and takes no credit. Yeah, that, that is a you know one that Pedro did. Pedro worked hard, didn't he, for Barcelona? And he maybe didn't get all the credit. And, you know, even me talking about him said, oh, he's not really the same level as Villa and Messi. Well, he might not be on Messi's level, but I, was he that far off David Villa? I think he uh, maybe wasn't. But um, we underappreciate players like that, don't we? In a way, Bernardo Silva, Bernardo Silva combines that hard working with pure... Um, you know, quality and technique, which is something so hard to come by, isn't it, a footballer? Um, James Milner, to me, when he played at Manchester City, I'm not the biggest fan of James Milner, he was one that always worked really hard, always put everything, you know, into it um, for City, but he probably wasn't the highest quality of player, but Ardo Silver is like a, a, you know, an amalgamation of both of them, which makes him such a good player. So Crystal Palace coming out into the field now in their home kit today, the red and blue stripes. Kiate and, and Tariq Mitchell. Mitchell, a um, bit like Aaron wan Saka in a way, the left back, isn't it? And um, the way he plays. So that could be interesting to see how Tariq Mitchell performs again today, whether bigger clubs will look at him at some point. I'm not quite sure on that one. And here is the City side, Edison, in the black goalkeeper kit today. Messi Magic says, I hope we don't sell Bernardo. Me too, Messi Magic. I mean, can you imagine if City had sold him for 40 million in the summer like they tried to? We, you know, you would have been would have been livid, wouldn't you, when you'd seen him perform for another team? I'm surprised he no club actually took the took the risk and you know tried to find 40 million and put it together and, and and make an offer for Bernardo Silva, but that didn't happen. Of course, he did want to move to Spain and Spain only. City are out in the field now. I tell you what, the the weather is not being so nice to uh, the people in Manchester. The sun is out actually. The sun is out, but the rain is falling. So there you go. So we'll just recap the teams again. Edison starts in goal for Manchester City. A back four of Kyle Walker, Ruben Dias, Aymar Laporte and Joao Cantelo again at left back. In the midfield three, we have Bernardo Silva, we have Rodri and we have Kevin De Bruyne. Of course, Ruben Dias wears the captain's armband again today. Adrian says, awesome, they stream it on TV here in Bosnia. Yeah, that's, that's great for you. That's, people are struggling, aren't they, to watch it. And then the front three of City, Jesus Foden and Jack Grealish. Jenny's staying here as well. Oh, thank you very much for staying here as well, those. And City, of course, Maris, Palmer, Fernandinho, Zinchenko, Gundogan, Sterling, Ake, Stones, and Zach Steffen on the bench. As for Crystal Palace, Vincente Guaita starts in goal. They've got a back four of Joel Ward, Anderson, Goy, and Tariq Mitchell. Larson says he'll keep us up to date. Well, hopefully he can keep us up to date on the other games, not the City game. I don't want any spoilers, Elijah. Uh, Gallagher, Kiate, and MacArthur in the midfield three. And then a front three of Zaha, Ayu and Edward. That is, uh, I think, a very good mid midfield three and a very good front three as well. Messi Magic is predicting a 5-0 win for Manchester City. Elise is on the bench. Nathaniel Klein, Christian Benteke, Kelly, Schlupp, Mateta, Tompkins, Milivojevic there for Palace. So both sides really go with a 4-3-3. Going to be interesting to see the way this game goes, isn't it? Will Palace, you know, try and hit City on the counter? I think that is the game plan today. But Palace aren't afraid to play football either. Palace, by no means, are, you know, afraid to play football. They will try and play football. They will try and catch City on the counter. But they're happy to knock it around the back. And they've got the quality of players to do that. I think Anderson is a very, very underrated centre-back uh, for Crystal Palace. A player that um, I thought... Uh, was very impressive for Fulham last season, despite them getting relegated. It was a very, very good pickup for Crystal Palace. Today is when Leicester owner dies, is Adger. And yeah, a very sad moment, actually, isn't it? Um, such a, an awful tragedy, isn't it? You know, something that so, you know, you take for granted, really, of him. You know, going in his helicopter, did it every time after the games or whatever. Ended in that manner. And out comes um, Pep Guardiola and Patrick Vieira here onto the field. With uh, wreaths of poppies as well in the remembrance of uh, people who have died in all wars over the years. Which are still, you know, wars that are, you'd say, finished but are still going on, aren't they? Wars still going on all, all over the world, unfortunately. Just the way things work, isn't it? Uh, Jack says, rest in peace, Leicester on it. He was a great guy and a great owner. Yeah, obviously a great owner, wasn't he, for Leicester City. Did a, did a really good job for them and I think his son is, is doing really well. 
for them as well. Leicester City constantly making progress. So, a little minute of applause here from the City fans. And I think there will be a one minute silence also at the Etihad in remembrance here. So, that is uh, good to see as people pay their respects as they do every year. Uh, little trumpet plays out. Something that's just traditional in the UK, isn't it? Um, if you go to cenotaphs and things around war, they do play the trumpets for the minute silence and, and things like that. There being awesome generations as Adrian. And yeah, I mean, when Leicester City, you think they picked up N'Golo Kante, Riyad Mahrez, players like that for two and three million, didn't they? Um, don't forget, you know, Danny Drinkwater, they sold him for 30 million. Uh, Harry Maguire wasn't a bad pickup either. They sold him for 80 million to Manchester United. They're definitely a side that have made plenty of profit over the years on uh, on transfers, which is something very good to see. Um, as a club that, you know, have worked their way up, haven't they? Similarly, in a way, to Liverpool. I know Liverpool are a sort of sleeping giant for a very long time. But uh, Liverpool, you know, from that Coutinho sale that you thought, oh, they've lost one of their best players. That's it. They're going to go backwards again. You know, big teams don't send their, sell their best players. Liverpool actually... Had a bit of a trajectory from that, didn't they? And, and continued to rise into a better, you know, better team. And won the Champions League, won the Premier League, and, and Leicester City. Uh, they've built on on those sales of those players. I think um, the the win of the Premier League was sort of um, I wouldn't say it was lucky, but it was a one-off. I don't think we'll see that again for a very long time. A side that has nearly been relegated to go on and win the Premier League. So Pep Guardiola and Juan Malio shake hands on the sidelines. Crystal Palace are going to kick us off here. Against Manchester City at the Etihad. They're attacking from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Vieira has got 53% of the votes now. 17 votes. Teti Harris says City will win. Well, I hope you're right, Teti. That's the way we like to see it. City need to continue their form, don't they? Continue the winning and bounce back after that disappointing result to West Ham in the midweek. So Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. And we have kick-off. And Palace with a long ball over the top here, which is chased by Wilfred Zaha. And he can't keep it in. And it's behind for a throw in. And Crystal Palace lumping it forward long. Saul Maguire for 80 and signed Fafana for something like 60. And Fafana was an absolute beast last season. Quite right, Jack. I think they could have got 60, 70 million for Fafana if it wasn't for that leg break right at the start of the season. MK is here looking forward to a, a City win. And Kyle Walker takes the throw in for City and throws it actually all the way through to Edison. He's being pressed by IU here. Edison's into Joao Cancelo on the left hand side of the box. Is Grealish for Manchester City. Back to Cancelo. Up and away. Phil Foden takes it down. And Palace's midfield in a bit of trouble here. Kuyate swings and gets a leg in. Luckily to cut them out a little bit. Because City could have been in there. Messi Magic says 18-19 season. Zaha was a different breed. He, I think he's a very good player. He's just so inconsistent, isn't he? Um, he, doesn't, he doesn't get... You know, a lot of players are judged on numbers these days and he doesn't get enough goals and assists for my liking. I think that's why he's never made the move to City United Chelsea a second time. Of course, that move to United, I think he was hard done by really because he, he didn't really get his chance, did he? Here's Kyle Walker for Manchester City into Rodri in the central midfield. And Rodri into Bernardo Silva. He's got a great connection on this left-hand side with Grealish and, and João Cancelo. Bernardo carrying the ball forward into Jack Grealish here. Onto his right foot is Grealish. Still Jack Grealish. Rodri. Walker is coming in narrow. Jesus, De Bruyne, Jesus again. Great play, Rodri. And De Bruyne has made that space because Jesus made a run inside here. And De Bruyne with a good cross in and headed away by Conor Gallagher. But that little tactic was showing you on the tactics board at the start of the game where Jesus makes a run into the box and De Bruyne goes into wide position. That happened just then. And De Bruyne got a cross in. Here's Bernardo Silva. Back to Jack Grealish, one of the players of the season, I think, at the moment, Bernardo Silva. Especially City's player of the season, anyway. Cancelo with the ball into the box here. Over to Jesus. Gay leaves it, the centre-back. That was um, cleverly done. Got a shout from his goalkeeper, Gaita, to leave it. Jesus was in be behind him. But confident enough to leave it. But Jesus is making lots of runs. From out wide into the box when City getting that final third. And De Bruyne is just peeling off around the, the wide area behind him. Vieira is going to be a little bit worried because his side have looked a little bit too open, Crystal Palace, at the start here. But they are playing it out from the back. And going to Anderson. Argent says your stream is a bit late. Sometimes that happens, Argent. If you're um, 
can time your clock up with ours if you're watching it on TV. If you can pause it, then you'll get the commentary in the same time. But if you know anything we don't, then try not to leave any spoilers in. Long by Geiter. Kinsella with a header. It's behind for a throw in to Crystal Palace on the halfway line. Three minutes played here between City and Crystal Palace. Pass will, like we said, play the ball out from the back and they've already started that. Liverpool apparently are already 1-0 up, says Elijah. Mo Salah by any chance? One thing I didn't touch on is the Fantasy League, actually. If you guys are in our Fantasy League, something I will touch on before the end of today's stream, if, if I remember to, that is. Jordan Henderson's with the goal. Here is Anderson. Goy. Little turn and left foot pass into Mitchell. Mitchell over the top here to Zaha. Diaz across. Mistake by Laporte and Diaz picks it up anyway. Ajin says your streams are late about two minutes. Well, that's the way it is sometimes, Ajin. Just don't put any spoilers in the chat, please. Here is Raul Cancelo. Jack Grealish. Grealish into Joao Cancelo. I'm Eric Laporte. Here is Ruben Diaz bringing the ball out for City. He plays a good switch over the top to Jack Grealish. He's intercepted by Ward and knotted down by Ayu. Up and underneath it here. Ajin, if you, I don't know if that's true, Ajin, or you're just having a laugh, but please don't put stuff in. I said it twice now. Here's Ruben Diaz. Into Kyle Walker. Wide to Gabriel Jesus. Walker again. Back he goes to Ruben Diaz. I'm Eric Laporte for Manchester City coming out from the back here. Laporte. Oh, it's a shocking pass by Laporte. Diaz slides in. It's Wilfred Zaha. Here's Conor Gallagher. Zaha with a strike. It's a brilliant goal from Zaha. A brilliant goal from Zaha. And Crystal Palace do take the lead at the Etihad. Really poor start from City. A shocking pass by Aymeric Laporte. Diaz dives in to try and deal with it. And City get caught out. And it's a goal for Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zaha. Well, he said before the game, he struggles finishing. Laporte, shocking pass. Shocking pass by Laporte that's done us over there. And Zaha, great finish. Maybe Edison could do better there. Maybe he should do better there, Edison. Gallagher into Zaha. Very nice finish. Just bobbles past Edison, who should do a lot better. And City. City basically gift wrapped that goal for Crystal Palace there. Laporte just tries to pass it like a two-yard pass, if that, to um, to, to Ruben Diaz. It's under-hit massively. Diaz has to dive in to try and deal with it. Zaha nicks it round him. And City are 1-0 down within six minutes here. What a terrible start for Manchester City. And Zaha's on the press again for City. I feel like Edison should have done a lot better with that as well. I don't know if I'm being harsh on Edison here, but I feel like Edison should do a lot better. Here's Rodri. Diaz. Well played, Crystal Palace. City's bogey side in recent times. Jesus into Walker. Now we know Crystal Palace can be got in behind him. Conrad says, what's wrong with his team? I'm Eric Laporte. Is it fault for that one? Really, is it fault for that one? Fault for that one, I'm Eric Laporte. Here's Palace again intercepted by Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne on the turn. Bernardo still. Still Bernardo running through three or four Palace players, but Conor Gallagher wins the ball back off him. Only as far as Raul Cancelo as he tries to clear it. Kevin De Bruyne into Grealish, just behind Jack Grealish. De Bruyne there to win it again. De Bruyne still. De Bruyne taken down. Referee says no free kick on the edge of the box. And Diaz goes back, and it's going to be a lively game today, I feel. Here's Cancelo. Jack Grealish. Ball in behind to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo across the box here. Blocked away from Ward. Grealish. City all over Palace here. Still Grealish. Grealish has to go back to Joao Cancelo here. 
Oh, and tackled Israel Cancelo. And are you on the counter here for Palace? And off they go again. Are you against Rodri? Good midfield play by Rodri, but City. City are all over Palace, but I have to say, we look shaky at the back. Very, very shaky. Whether that was a foul on Kevin De Bruyne on the edge of the box, in the box, I'm not quite sure. Conrad thinks the referee's a Palace fan after that one. I think Stockley Park will check that, the VAR. Obviously, the check was over because they decided that there was nothing in that foul on Kevin De Bruyne, whether it was a foul at all. Mitchell with a nod th nodded header through to Walker. Walker throwing to City into Rodri. De Bruyne. Good defending from Guy. MacArthur gives it away. And Walker then loses it to Edward. Zaha. Oh, a little nutmeg on Kyle Walker. MacArthur. Palace playing great football here. Mitchell. Ball forward, which Diaz. Great bit of skill from Ruben Diaz. And into Bernardo Silva. Messy magic. Every team hates City, he says. Here's Grealish. City, I mean, I was there when Townsend scored that absolute rocket against City a few years back. Here's Edward for Crystal Palace. Into Zaha. A little back heel back into Edward. Well, Zaha's on form today, isn't he? Edward still. And a good tackle from Diaz finally getting back in position. But we just seem so, so shaky at the back. Grealish, one-on-one -on -one with Ward here. Into Foden. Gives it away to Jack Grealish. Can tell in there to win it back for City. And Grealish keeps it in. Cancelo gives it straight back to Palace. Well, I'll tell you what. Joao Cancelo is having a shocker at left back. An absolute shocker. Walker against Edward here. Walker's physicality. He's done really well there. Shoulder barges Edward away from the ball. Throwing to Manchester City. Nine minutes gone here. And City are looking bad. We're looking very bad, actually. Flat start from us. Lively start from them. Here's Rodri for City. Getting caught in the midfield here. Foul against Kuyate. For a foul on Rodri. City are getting caught out. We're way too calm on the ball when we're in positions where Crystal Palace are on us. And Palace are pressing really well against City here. Here's Grealish. Taking on Danny uh, Joel Ward here. Bernardo Silva rounds the byline here. Bernardo looks for a cross. Pulls it back to help to Joel Cancelo. Rodri on the edge of the box here. Rodri's the far post. Jesus and Tariq Mitchell. Good bit of defending from the Palace left back. It's a corner. And it is a corner to Manchester City. So Kevin De Bruyne on the corner here for City. De Bruyne with a swing in. Near post. Palace clear away again. Kevin De Bruyne once more. Phil Foden. Swinging by phone to the far post. Rodri back into the mixer here. Laporte attacks it. Headed away. Ayu tries to take it down. Ayu. Diaz through the back of him. Silly free kick for City to give away with Ruben Diaz. The captain. That's a free kick for Palace. And they can relax again now. And start again. Well, Palace. I think will be pretty confident at the moment. Very confident. Vieira's men have set up well. They've caught City out for making a mistake. Here's Goy for Palace. Anderson. Switch for the right boot to the right hand side too. Are you over hit pass? Throwing to City on the left hand side on the halfway line. Really, really bad start. Diaz, wide to Jesus. Into Walker. Foden on the turn here. Kuyate tight to him. Foden tries a pass that's straight back to Crystal Palace again. City need to press high. More intensity. Well done by Rodri. De Bruyne. City win it back here. Jesus. Still Gabriel Jesus. Great work from the Brazilian. Jesus. And he's pulled down here by Mitchell. When City are on the counter, that should be a yellow card for Tariq Mitchell. That should be a yellow card for Mitchell, but it won't be. Jesus there, dribbling through three or four Palace players. And he's away. And MacArthur and Mitchell. Mitchell pulling Jesus. MacArthur sticks a leg out. Referee says no yellow card, Andre Mariner. But a free kick to Manchester City here. Laporte possibly trying to try and get in the box and make up for mistakes here. Foden leaves it. De Bruyne swings it in here. 
Attacking it is Aymeric Laporte. Not away by Crystal Palace. Rodri. Bernardo Silva back out wide to Rodri. João Cancelo. Walker. De Bruyne swing in. Not a bad cross. Palace underneath it and away. Are you against Bernardo Silva? Well done, Bernardo, to win that back. Rodri. Out to Jack Grealish here. Looking to get into his, his stronger right foot. He's going to his left and he's possibly when he's side a corner here. No, it loops up towards Guy to the goalkeeper who catches that one under pressure. And City have got a lot, of, a lot to do today, haven't they, really? A lot to do if they're going to win this game. Here's Ward. Foden pressing Guy to the goalkeeper here. Palace playing it out from the back confidently. And, and Vincente Guy to definitely a goalkeeper can do that. The XSFA man. Here's Edouard off the left hand side. Into Tariq Mitchell. It seems like Zaha is actually playing for the middle. And off goes Wolf Zaha again. In a race with Ruben Diash here. Uses his body well against Diash. Diash gets his foot in brilliantly. And Zaha throws himself to the floor. But great defending from our big man Diash. And Diash is slid in on by Edouard. Could be a yellow card here for Edward for that foul on Diaz. Sliding in on, on Ruben Diaz. No need for that tackle really from Edward. Diaz wins it well off Zaha. Just throws himself to the floor. And then Diaz takes it round to the defender who comes flying in for a tackle. Edward, the, the winger there. I'm sure Ruben Diaz will put a good tackle on him to get him back. He's throwing for City with Kyle Walker. Just under 15 minutes played here. Jesus, Walker, up and underneath this one and long. And all the way behind for a throw-in to Crystal Palace. This is a, a poor performance from City. A real poor performance. Mitchell across the take it. Long and over the top to Zaha. Again, Zaha gets there. City really struggling against Wilfred Zaha. Mitchell, back to Zaha. A little back heel back into Mitchell. One back by Rodri. Good midfield play here by Rodri. But he's running into trouble. Bernardo Silva... Brilliant play from Bernardo. Jesus with a touch. Jesus into Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne looks to take it around Anderson who just took it away from him. Alex Ramsey says what you're watching it on. Depends what where you are, Alex. If you're in the UK, unfortunately you can't watch this game. Here's Wilfred Zaha. Push on Jesus. Nothing given to the referee. And Jesus floors Wilfred Zaha off the ball. Just gives Zaha a bit of it back who threw his arm into Gabriel Jesus. Andre Mariner says it's all right if Wilfred Zaha pushes you around. But if Gabriel Jesus pushes you back, that is a foul. Frustrated Jesus by the fact that Zaha gave him a little shoulder in the face here. So Jesus give it him back twice. Zaha throws himself to the floor as he usually does. Like he's just been shot. One of the worst divers in the Premier League, Wilfred Zaha, gets absolutely flattened by Gabriel Jesus. Well done, Jesus. Jesus gives Zaha a look. Who says something to Gabriel Jesus? I tell you what, Wilfred Zaha is going to get a big crunching tackle on him in this game because the players are already getting frustrated with him. So swinging from the free kick by Gallagher. Not away by Rodri. Foden lose out to MacArthur. De Bruyne with a header on it and Laporte... Just cushions it down into Jarao Cancelo. Long on the left foot of, foot of Cancelo. Up to Grealish, not the best of passes. Rodri a header over Ayu. Gallagher into Edward. Bernardo Silva the foot in and Gallagher with a switch out to Walker. Who intercepts it from Zaha. Diaz. Great pass into De Bruyne. And out to Bernardo Silva. Great play from KDB. Here's Bernardo Silva. Jesus. Up against Tariq Mitchell who throwing his foot in all over Jesus. who has been fouled two or three times there by Palace. Burnley a 2-0 up. Maxwell Cornet the score for them, says Elijah. Here's Jack Grealish. Into De Bruyne. And it's just a little bit too heavy for De Bruyne to control. And lumped away. But the City fans are right behind City here. At the Etihad. Here's Foden. Grealish. Good run from Cancelo. Back into De Bruyne. Rodri's in acres of space in the middle now. Rodri. Switch out to Bernardo Silva on the chest of Bernardo. And great touch as well from him. Brilliant player is Bernardo. Ruben Diaz from Manchester City. Walker. Bernardo Silva. 
Looking to take on Mitchell. See you later, Mitchell, says Bernardo. Flicks it around him on his left boot. Rodri into Imer at Laporte. Wide to Cancelo. City with a bit of space now with Joao Cancelo. Cancelo cuts back onto his left foot. Cancelo with a hit. Right, I don't know if it's a cross or a shot from Cancelo. He's just trying to fizz it into the box with power. Defended away by Crystal Palace. Caught to Manchester City from the left-hand side. City can sustain attacks now, which is much better. Phil Foden to swing it in. Foden with a swing in here. Header for Diaz. Defended well. Rodri on a volley. And oh, Rodri catches that well. But straight down the middle. And into the hands of Guy to the Crystal Palace goalkeeper. That was a great chance for City there. Rodri, if he doesn't put it down the middle, it's in. He just catches it really well. If he just goes to the right, I don't think Gaita can stop it. Really good hit from Rodri. Straight at Gaita who catches it. But it's much better like Messi Magic said for Manchester City now. Here's Rodri. Arms all over him by Wilfred Zaha. And Rodri shrugs him off. Rodri. Wide to Jack Grealish. In behind to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo flicks it to the far post. Jesus is there. It's overhit by Bernardo. And dealt with by Edward. Jesus throws his foot in. It's a throw into Crystal Palace. Well, Jesus is ready to get in a battle today with Crystal Palace. You can feel it already. Burnley's goal has been disallowed. Still 1-0 against Brentford. I've liked Brentford this season, actually, watching them. So Crystal Palace under Patrick Vieira have made a decent start to the Premier League, haven't they? They've only picked up two points away from home this season. Could they pick up three here today? Messi Magic says Southampton are winning 1-0 against Watford. Walker with a header. Kiate nods it back to Walker. Walker with another header forward again. Don't know why he just didn't take that down, Kyle Walker. Rodri picks it up and switches it to Cancelo brilliantly. Cancelo on the turn here with a little flick on the toe of his right boot. And spins into the left-hand channel. Cancelo strikes it straight into Rose Edge. Raul Cancelo. Crystal Palace will be happy for City to be taking pot shots with the fullback from 40 yards, won't they? Cancelo never beating the goalkeeper from there, really. And it's high merit Laporte who was at fault for City's goal. And now I think that Edison should save that, you know. I really think Edison should save that. Great play from Gallagher. Finds Zaha. And it's a shot that bubbles across the goalkeeper. I really think Edison should get to that. Really think he should get a fingertip on that Edison. Well, Zaha's in behind again here. Diaz with a push on him. And it's a offside anyway against Wilfred Zaha. So 20 minutes gone. City is still going to be chasing the game, aren't they here? They've had plenty of chances, actually, City. Rodri had a really good one. From a corner that fell to him. Hit it really well the volley. Caught it fantastically. But he would, could have said caught it a little bit too well. Straight down the middle into Gaita's hands. City knocking it around the back here with Diaz and Edison. And Laporte. I don't trust Laporte on the ball anymore. After that mistake for the goal. And that Laporte mistake really. Gives John Stones a way back into this first team. Here's Rodri. Into Diaz. Who's pushing much further forward than I merit Laporte. Interestingly enough. Diaz, switch out to Grealish. Cl Palace clear it away, but City win it back with Bernardo Silva. Grealish into Bernardo. Grealish into Foden. Back to Grealish again. Grealish into De Bruyne. Headed away by Goy, but good play. Jesus attacks this one. Edouard with a little spin. Kiate around Walker. Falls fortunately after a poor bit of play from Walker. Rodri with a tackle on Kiate. Foot on the ball, but foot on the toes of Kiate as well. And that's a free kick to Palace again as they look to counter. And they once again can slow this game down. Kiate bursting away. Yeah, Roger doesn't get the ball. Just get both knees of Kiate and takes down the Senegalese midfielder. Here's Zaha against Diaz with a push on Diaz. He just puts it behind for a throw in in the end. City need to do a bit better against Wilfred Zaha at the moment. He's having too much freedom running around the City defence. He's looking quite physical against Diaz and Walker as well. You'd think he'd definitely be able to handle him a lot, a lot better. Luckily, he's not against Laporte. He's... Looks shaky today, Laporte and Cancelo on the left-hand side, actually. Here's Mitchell. Edward in offside again against Crystal Palace for MacArthur. And City look to take it quickly. Edward stands in front of the free kick for City, meaning they can't take it quickly. And Walker just swings his foot at it. 
And eventually City pa pass it back to goalkeeper Edison. Here's I Merritt Laporte. Cancelo. Long ball by Joao on his right foot. Looking for the, the run of Phil Foden. And again, Cancelo. The quality isn't there from Joao. All the way over the top. And Foden can't get the end of it. It's behind for a goal kick to Crystal Palace. And and, and, and Palace are pressing City. They are. They're playing on the front foot against City. And they're doing well. And Gaeta, uh, as he did last season at the Etihad. Or the season before anyway. He's already wasting time here for Crystal Palace. 23 minutes in. Liverpool a 2 0 up over Brighton. Sadio Mane with a goal. And Gaita still continues to waste time. Ball straight towards Rodri. Wins the header. Here's Foden. Palace tackle Jack Grealish. Ajin says this is worse than 1920. Well, it will take time. City should do better here. Rodri back to Ruben Diaz. Diaz brings it forward for Manchester City. Wide to Walker. Got to keep faith in City, haven't you? We've got the quality. Walker here. Walker with a ball in. And it's cleared away from Anderson. Harley Booth says hi. Hello to you, Harley. City are 1-0 down to Crystal Palace here. Walker on the overlap of Jesus here. Cross came in. Foden just couldn't get there because it's good defending from Anderson the Dane. At the back for them. We need Mares as comrade. Mares would be a, a good option. So corner here. Crossing by De Bruyne. Chance for Jesus to shoot. Jesus on the left foot blocked away. Grealish picks it up. Grealish with a shot. Another block away from Crystal Palace. And a good tackle by Grealish and Ayu. Behind for a goal kick. Referee says no. A free kick. Harley's a City fan. Well, how do you feel about City's performance so far, Harley? We haven't been good, have we? We haven't been good. Gifnit says we need Ferran. Well, no, Ferran, unfortunately. I think another two months for Ferran Torres, at least. That he's going to be out injured. We do need uh, Maris. Grealish with a sliding challenge on Ayu. Didn't, didn't seem like a foul to me. Foot on the ball, but referee says it is a foul. And Crystal Palace with a chance to slow the game down once again. Harley says we're playing bad. You're right. And Gaita takes his time here. Gaita long. Rodri with the head of the beast. He's lost here. Laporte into Walker. Come on, City. What's going on, says Mr. Tigerman. City have been shocking, Mr. Tigerman. Walker into Rodri. There's plenty of space far wide for Grealish. If Rodri can find him. It's a shocking ball, which Grealish will chase. What a terrible pass by Rodri. What a terrible pass by Rodri. Harley says Sterling could help, though. Possibly. Possibly. I think the thing is with City now is every time we misplace a pass, Palace see that as a victory and the goalkeeper will take 10 minutes to take the goal kick. And the City fans are frustrated here with the Palace goalkeeper. But the referee, Andre Marinov, refuses to book Guy. So what he'll do is he'll wait till the 90th minute to book Vincenzo Guaita when he's already time wasted most of the game. Foul by Crystal Palace on Jack Grealish. This could be a yellow card, this one for IU. Sliding challenge. Marindre Mariner says he's no choice here. Yellow card. Still in his awesome from the bench. I learned it from FIFA 22 career mode. Says Ajin. Well, I wish it was career mode. That's a nasty challenge by IU on Grealish. Sliding challenge on Grealish. Completely takes him out. Big Bad Bunny says we shouldn't be 1-0 down so early in the game. We shouldn't, but it, and I merit Laporte. Shocking pass. Put Diaz in a position where you have to dive in. You know, Zaha flicked it round him and then that was it. Logan says, hi mate, how are you watching the game? Well, it depends where you are, Logan. I can tell you where it's on. If you're in the UK, unfortunately, it's not televised. Here's Kevin De Bruyne for Manchester City. Two or three Palace players around him. De Bruyne eventually just drills it out of play. Had nowhere to go. 27 minutes gone here and there's just not there's not many positives to take out the game so far. I think Bernardo's playing reasonably well. Jesus should say as well. But Palace again continue to take the time on the throw in. Goy back to Kia, uh, get to Gaita. Into Anderson who's pretty much alongside Gaita here. And long they send it. Headed down by Laporte. Bernardo Silva. Good play. Gallagher through the back of him. 
Laporte back to Bernardo Silva. City do need a goal before half time. You're right. Logan says he lives in Manchester. Unfortunately, in the UK, Logan, there's no way to watch this game. Here's Walker. Gabriel Jesus up against Mitchell. Takes it round Mitchell. MacArthur swings a foot in and wins it back for Palace anyway. But Jesus trying to be lively, trying to take on a Crystal Palace player. Rodri on the turn here. Kiate is very quickly across to him, but well played, Rodri. Bernardo Silva on the left hand side. Wide to Grealish now. We need a bit more from Jack Grealish, really. Haven't seen it yet. Cancelo. Rodri. Over to Walker. Walker inside to Jesus. Good play here. Jesus on the turn. Slips in the box. Palace clear it through to Imerit Laporte. And Gabriel Jesus is offside, which means we have to give Palace the ball back. A chance for them to time waste once again. Jesus offside. No surprises there. That's something we hear a lot. We need to perform more and find opportunities to score, says Big Bad Bunny. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I can't make excuses for City today. City are rubbish. Red Eye says, I'm sorry I'm late. Give me the latest on this goal. Well, basically, Red Eye, right in front of his own box. I merit Laporte just passes it to Zaha. And Zaha goes through on goal and scores. It's really bad from City. Laporte. Laporte is not helping us out at all here. And even Ruben Diaz there threw his arms up at Laporte a little bit. Wasn't happy with the pass back to him again. Diaz back to Edison. Palace are pressing high though. On the front foot, Palace, to be fair to them. Here's Raul Cancelo. Bernardo Silva running at Palace here. Rodri over the top. Great pass over to Jesus. Jesus takes it down here. Gabriel Jesus into De Bruyne. Back in behind to Jesus. Good interception by Mitchell. Finds Rodri. Rodri, Cancelo. City can't find space. Palace have got every man behind the ball. Bar Zaha. Grealish back to Cancelo. To the far post to Jesus. Saved by Geiter. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva with a strike blocked. And offside flag is up against Jesus once again. Harley likes the stream. Thank you very much. Please do like the video if you like it, by the way. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Actually, Jesus wasn't offside. The ball just went out, out of play as he tried to hook it back in. Well, guys are taking his time again. Big Bad Bunny's disappointed. I think we all are with his performance so far. Logan asks, who's our best player so far? I'd say Bernardo Silva. Taking the time here, Palace. Geiter finally sends it long up to Edward, who holds it off from Kyle Walker. But Palace give it us back with Bernardo Silva. Here's Grealish. Poor pass into him by Cancelo. Bernardo Silva still works it wide to Grealish here. Here's Grealish. Cuts inside. Great play from Grealish. Grealish into Rodri. City with a chance here. Rodri sits down one Palace player. Wide to Jesus with a hit. Blocked by Goy. And behind for a goal kick. City, what penalty here? They say it's a handball off the defender of Crystal Palace. Really good attack. Palace got back well. Grealish did well. Rodri wide to Jesus. And as he hits this, it, back, it ricochets back off. A sliding guy who defends it into the arm of Tariq, Rich, uh, Tariq Mitchell. But I wouldn't say it was... Um, I wouldn't say it was that. Mr. Tigerman says the ref is waiting until the 90th minute to give a, the goalkeeper a booking. That's exactly right, Mr. Tigerman. That's what I said before. That's exactly what they'll do. Geiter will time waste the whole game. They'll wait till the 90th minute and book him and say, there you are, I've booked him for time wasting. Whereas if you booked him in the, the 10th minute when he started doing it, then he would have stopped, wouldn't he? But you've let him time waste for 90 minutes. And if he does it again in the 90 minutes, you send him off. That's how it should be. Harley's liked and subscribed. Thank you very much, Harley. Here's Kyle Walker for Manchester City. Back he goes all the way to Edison. It wasn't a pen, Mr. Tigerman, no. Here's Ruben the Ash. I merit Laporte into Joao Cancelo. Rodri trying to turn here back across the Diaz. City are struggling breaking down Palace. They really are. Diaz, why to Walker? Foden's drifted out to his right hand side now. Foden with a terrible pass into the Arena and given back to Palace. He looked to go again. Edward into Zaha. Through the back of him comes Ruben Diash. So it's a throw into Crystal Palace. 
Mr. Tigerman said he almost forgot to like. Well, don't forget to like, people. Please do like if you can. Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you're new. And check out all the other content. If you're into FIFA, Pro Evo. Here's McCarthy. Sends it back here, which Grish will chase here. And Grish might get the end of this one. And Anderson, no nonsense stuff, just lumps it out of plate for a throw in because Grish is on him. Or a Mad City fan because he's losing, says Mr. Tigerman. Could be. I never pay attention to them, actually, the dislikes. Here's Rodri. Here's Raul Cancelo. Back he goes to Laporte. Here's Ruben the Ash. Phil Foden. Foden taken down by Edward. Free kick to Manchester City. Edward won't leave Foden alone. That's foul number three from Edward, which the referee has not yet given him a card for. Here's Kevin De Bruyne. Walker. It's a shocking pass by De Bruyne, by the way, who's been in terrible form recently. Oh, Walker's won it back here. Mistake by Palace. Rodri. Thing is, we don't know what to do when we've got the ball. No ideas in this side. Grealish. Rodri. No opening at all for City. He's ruined the after Manchester City. Ball into Jesus. Not it down to De Bruyne. Foden. De Bruyne still. Foden again. Kuyate wins it back for Palace. And Tariq Mitchell lumps it behind for a throw in. Look at that. Laporte did a good pass once. Kind of wasted the chances, Mr. Ty. No. Laporte's been terrible. So has De Bruyne, to be honest with you. You're doing really bad in FIFA, says Red Eye. No offence. I know, but don't worry, Red Eye. Season 2, we're back. Oh, Bernardo Silva, a pass out wide. That just goes between two City players and behind for a throw-in. No one is playing well at all. Big Bad Bunny says Maris must come on. I'm not sure Maris is the answer here. I'm not sure Maris is the answer at all for Manchester City. 34 minutes gone. 1-0 down. Looking... We don't look like scoring, to be honest with you. We don't even look like scoring. Throwing by Gallagher. Noddy down by Grealish. Gallagher picks it back up. Over his head, lumps it away, throwing to City. A goal with City, really, to try and get a bit of confidence going into the second half. Need to get a goal, don't we, before half time? We've got 10 minutes yet to do it. Mr. Tigerman says Gundogan. I think all the players we're mentioning bringing on are obviously good. Well, City with a chance here is Grealish and behind Bernardo Silva, overhit by Jack Grealish and into the hands of Geiter. But it depends if they're in good form. I mean, Usually, a few players have a bad day, you can take them off and bring someone on, but the whole team is playing badly, but makes me think the whole team is bad today. And I'm not sure if whether Gundogan, Fernandinho, Mahrez, anyone, will actually make this any better. Guy gives it away to Rodri, and he gives it back to Crystal Palace. Well done, Rodri. Shocking. And Palace put it out for a throw-in. City can't even find a blue shirt at the moment. Hadif says he's convinced that Stone should be starting over Laporte. I'm convinced as well now, Hadif. I am very, very much convinced that John Stone should start over Imer at Laporte, especially after he's pretty much cost us a goal today, hasn't it? Good point, says Mr. Tyrant. Remember Myers versus Brighton. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? City with the ball into the box here and into the hands of Geiter. It's hard, isn't it? The whole team is playing bad. That one player can make a difference, but it's whether that one player comes in and actually does that. I don't know at the moment. Long ball by Palace, which is nodded away by Kyle Walker. De Bruyne takes it down. No, he doesn't. He just nods it into J Jesus. Foden down. De Bruyne into Jesus. De Bruyne away to Bernardo. Rodri. Grealish and Akers of space here. We found Jack Grealish. Here's Grealish. Oh, shocking cross on his left foot. Still Grealish here. Edge of the box to Cancelo. Cancelo with a hit. Deflected over the bar. Corner Manchester City. Di Maria last night, Ajin said, made the difference against Lille. Quite right. Rudai says it, City have to sign him. Four, 14 years old and score more goals. Well, you're probably right. Harley Booth says you're the best streamer ever. Thank you very much, Harley. Fernandinho's captain could change the game. Possibly. Swinging by Foden from the corner. It's to the far post to Rodri. And nodded away by Palace. City, devoid of ideas here. Foden. Into Jarrell Cancelo. Oh, what a shocking cross by Cancelo into the box. He, Him and Laporte, I think, are by far the worst players in the team here. Pep is going to make us something in the 90th minute when we don't have a chance, says Mr. Tigerman. He might be right there. 
I can't see Pep making a half-time substitution. I can't see Pep making a substitution in the first 65, you know, 65 minutes. It will be around 70 minutes when Pep makes a change. And we're chasing the game here. Slinks is ever since the sign of Grealish City sucks. Well, I won't put it down to Grealish. I don't think he's that bad of a player. I think he's a very good player. But he does take time to adapt. And City have had that for a very long time with new signings. Zaha here. Pulls down Ruben Dias and Laporte back to Edison. Edison to Walker. Palace have got his weighed up really in the press. They really have. Throwing to Palace here off Diaz. He tried to clear it. I think Liverpool's is the favourite for the title this season, aren't they? I think it's Liverpool's to lose, to be honest with you. Especially if this result stays the way it does. Here's Goy. Bringing the ball forward for Crystal Palace. Into Zaha. Heavy touch, which is nicked off him by Rodri. Diaz. I'm Eric Laporte for Manchester City. Here's Raul Cancelo. Grealish. Back to Diaz. I think if Laporte gets dropped after this game, which I think is a possibility. Pep said before, if you play bad, the other player will come in. And Stones comes in. That is the end of I'm Eric Laporte. I can see him asking for a transfer after that. Foden. De Bruyne. Here's I'm Eric Laporte. Rodri, Laporte again. Into Cancelo. Bernardo Silva. Why to Grealish? Into Bernardo Silva. He's giving it away again. Gallagher wins it back and lumps it away. On as far as Laporte. City are trying. City are really trying here. It's Raul Cancelo for Manchester City. Rodri in the centre. Into Walker. Rodri, Walker. Still Kyle Walker. He has to go back to Diaz. Palace's press is fantastic at the moment. Long ball forward. Intercepted by Palace. He might look for a counter here with Tariq Mitchell. Mitchell into Edward. Zaha's onside here. Chase with Laporte. Zaha. Zaha. Why to Ayu? Ayu's offside here. Has a shot that's over the bar. But Ayu's offside. Zaha again. Tying I'm Eric Laporte up in knots there. Red Eye believes we need stones and, and the ass combo at the back again. I agree with you. Getting wrapped up in knots here, Laporte. Zaha on the counter. Worked it wide to IU and Zaha was offside anyway. As he hits a shot over the top of the crossbar. Here's Rodri for Manchester City. Joao Cancelo. Into Rodri. Brighton have got a goal. Here's Diaz. Walker. Mr. Tyron says Zaha scared me, especially versus Laporte there. Exactly, Laporte is struggling against Zaha. Foden, poor pass by Phil. And he's beaten twice, three times by Mitchell. He's pushing him all over the place and it's a throw into City anyway. And across comes Kyle Walker to take it. Redai says Zaha's underrated. I know, but I don't like him, Redai. And Logan says, why has Stones been playing any any games this season? I don't know. I don't know. He's been injured, hasn't he? And then he's not had his chance because Laporte's been playing well. De Bruyne, a terrible touch from De Bruyne. Like watching Wilfred Bonny back up top for Manchester City here. De Bruyne's first touch. Tries to take it down and just knocks it straight to a Crystal Palace player. Here's Kinsello, Bernardo Silva. Grealish. Grealish still. De Bruyne. Poor pass by De Bruyne. And Ward lumps it away. Argerian says uh, De Stones has played one game. Pfft. Show's done it. Not put a foot wrong though, is he? In them one ga that one game. Laporte has put a foot wrong now and I think it's time for Stones to come in. Cancelo. Ball stays in, in play. Cancelo into Grealish. Grealish here. Chance here for Grealish. Grealish still goes down the box. Good tackle. Guy got a foot on the ball from Grealish. He should have just let, you know, released the shot. Hit it early, but he didn't do. De Bruyne for City. Into Walker. Works it wide to the right-hand side. Walker. Rodri. De Bruyne. Foden. Back to De Bruyne. Taken off his feet by Kiate and counter Crystal Palace. Here's Zaha. Good tackle from Diaz. 
And City throwing here. Rodri kicks it into the Palace man. Good work from Diaz there. The thing about Stones, he's loyal to City. He won't get any games. But when he gets them, he shows he needs in the team. Quite right, Red Eye. Quite right. Here's Cancelo into De Bruyne. Grealish. Oh, Grealish with a terrible pass straight back to Palace. And Palace win it back. And counters on here. Are you? Intercepted by Walker and all the way through to Diaz. Killer, Grealish would be much better if he had a bit of killer instinct to score goals. You're quite right, Logan. That's what he's missing, really, isn't it? His numbers. He needs to step up, I think, Grealish. Now, I can't put too much pressure on him because you think a lot of players, when they move to City, Bernardo Silva was terrible in his first season as well. Here's Palace. Are you? Tackle by Rodri. Good footing on the ball. Laporte into Gabriel Jesus. Back to Laporte. City need to turn and go forward now. Gabriel Jesus takes it around two or three Palace players. He's taken down here. Bernardo Silva's taken down also. Referee says no free kick. City play on. Luis is what do we think we need to change the second half? It's good to have you back, Luis. Feels like we're not, I've not seen you in a while. <sighs> I don't know, Luis. Everyone's playing bad. It's not like it's uh, an issue with one player. Palace have just they've done a job on us today. Tactically got everything perfect. Everyone's saying Mares. I don't know. phone has been shocking. De Bruyne has been shocking. Laporte's been shocking. Cancelo, Rodri. Bernardo's not been at his best. Grealish hasn't been great either. Here's Kyle Walker from Manchester City. Just can't create a chance. We look like we have no ideas. Grealish. Looking to take on Ward, which he does, Grealish. Into Walker. Back to Bernardo Silva on this wide left-hand side. Bernardo. Pass Gallagher. Cancelo. So slow from City. Cancelo. Rodri. Diaz, they're queuing up the City players here to try and get something on this. Kevin De Bruyne onto his left foot, KDB. Cancelo again. Wide to Bernardo. City cannot break them down at all. Kevin De Bruyne swinging on the left foot by De Bruyne. Noddy by Jesus. Away by Palace. Diaz nods it back into the danger area. Phil Foden picks it up. Phil Foden still. Walker. The best says, come on, City. Hadif says, Shanake start over Laporte. Definitely not. De Bruyne here. Takes it round Gallagher into Rodri. Great pass. Rodri. White to Walker. Walker across the box. Foden in there. Shot that's defended away. Two minutes of added time here. 45 minutes gone. Why by Laporte to Grealish. City putting the pressure on here. Cancelo. Pot shot again from Joao. Deflects up. Palace tried to clear it away. Bernardo takes it down in the box here. Bernardo Silva for Manchester City. One mistake is one mistake. Says Adjuri. Quite right. Gift is a swap. Foden and Jesus around. Foden can cut inside. Yeah, but Foden's not that sort of player really, is he actually? I don't think Foden is that sort of player. City are really putting the pressure on them, but it's not coming to anything at the moment. City will keep trying, though, before the end of this half, I'm sure. That's the way it goes at the moment. City are really putting the pressure on, but it's just not working, is it? It is just not working. Unfortunately, my internet is having a bit of an issue here, guys. So, apologies for that. I will be back momentarily. I think it will be half time. You'll have to let me know if City have scored. But I don't think City have done. Unfortunately, I have momentarily lost the City game for whatever reason. See if I can get it back on. I have got it back on here. Zaha's gone through here. We'll see it here. Z Edward with a knock on here. Laporte has been spun by Wilfred Zaha. And Laporte has pulled down Wilfred Zaha. And I think this could be a red card for I Merit Laporte, guys. They're going to check this on VAR. So it looks like we're going to see a red card for Laporte. VAR is checking. Long ball by Palace as I get the game back. Zaha spins I Merit Laporte, who pulls down Wilfred Zaha. Who's one on one with the keeper if Laporte doesn't pull him down. This is a red card for I Merit Laporte, I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. I merit Laporte's going to get a red card. Check complete by the VAR. Red card. I merit Laporte. He's off. Laporte is off. 
So I'm Eric Laporte. He sends off for Manchester City. His day goes from bad to worse. Gets a mistake. Well, pretty much gifts Palace a goal and then gets sent off by Merrick Laporte. That is shocking for City. I'm Merrick Laporte. He's sent off at the end of the first half. Stupid from Laporte. And that could have cost us the game now because we're chasing this game with 10 men. We're chasing this game with 10 men now. Harley says bye everyone. I think that's Harley out. Mr. Tigan says Laporte has been atrocious. Conrad's going to cry. That's game over, I think, for Manchester City. That was a certain red card, Adrian. You, you can't argue with that. Zaha spins I'm Eric Laporte. They play it wide to Zaha from the free kick here. Zaha looking to take on Bernardo Silva. Bernardo with a little kick on Zaha in a free kick to Crystal Palace. And Zaha is now trying to start a fight with Gabriel Jesus. Which Jesus not happy with. It's a yellow card for Bernardo Silva. And Zaha continues the fighting. Trying to start on Gabriel Jesus. Oh, Bernardo Silva has a kick out at Zaha there on purpose. I think the City players are not happy with Wilfred Zaha's antics here. And a kick from Bernardo on Zaha from behind. Gifnit says, I hate Zaha. I'm with you there, Gifnit. I really don't like Wilfred Zaha at all. Bernardo pushes Zaha. Zaha's giving Bernardo a push now. Wilfred Zaha is really starting to with the City players here. Mr. Tigerman says, you cannot argue it's a red card. Exactly, it was a red card. A definite red card for Imeric Laporte. City are trying to get Zaha wound up, I think, and get him sent off. So... 50 minutes played now. Gallagher with a swing in here. Into the box. Pep could put in Ake. He could put in Stones. Personally, I'd put in um, I'd put in John Stones. Um, but the issue is, we need a goal. So you put in Stones to try and shore up the defence. And then we lose some in attack. So half-time whistle is gone. And Gabriel Jesus and Wilfred Zaha. And the jostling begins. Zaha wants a fight. He's telling Gabriel Jesus, I'll see you outside. Well, the referee, Andre Marin, is pulling Jesus across here. Remember, Jesus, I think he's on a yellow card. I don't know what Wilfred Zaha is doing here, but he could get himself sent off here, Wilfred Zaha. Yellow card for Jesus. Well, this is becoming a feisty game where it doesn't need to be. Adjin says it's MMA now. Edison's telling the referee this is a joke. The City fans boo Wilfred Zaha. I think Edison's been booked because Edison has, has started a bit of a jostling with uh, Wilfred Zaha as well. So City go down the tunnel, frustrated. 1-0 down and on 10 men. And Wilfred Zaha winding up the City players. Mariner, you're not fit to referee, rings out around the Etihad Stadium. Fernandinho has gone over to Andre Mariner. Wilfred Zaha, what can you say? Now, we're going to look at things tactically a little bit here at half-time. Go over to this now. For you guys to watch. So, the half-time tactics. Here we go. So, let's have a look at things. First things first, I'm Eric Laporte. We're going to talk about, rather than the tactics of the first half, because City had no tactics in the first half, they were shocking. We're not going to talk about the tactics in the first half. We're going to talk about the tactics for the second half. Then we'll have a little break and we're back for the second half. So, tactics of the first half. I'm Eric Laporte, red card. Meaning City, I mean, do they go to a back three? I can't see that. If I'm honest with you, City are going to have to bring John Stones on, aren't they? That is the only way to do things, is to bring John Stones on. That is probably the only thing City can do. And if we do bring Stones on, we're going to have to put him alongside Diaz. Who do you sacrifice? Who do you sacrifice in there? I think, personally, it will be Jack Grealish. Personally, think it will be Grealish that gets uh, sacrificed for Manchester City. We'll put Foden out to that left-hand side and play pretty much like this with De Bruyne and Bernardo trying to play, getting into those forward areas. Uh, Crystal Palace have played well. They've sat in that back four. And the midfield three as well has been solid in front of them. And every time City, you know, have gone forward, you know, De Bruyne wants to get into positions like this with Foden. Say out wide here. De Bruyne and Bernardo excel in these positions. And especially getting into wide areas as well. 
But Crystal Palace, their midfield is so, so tight here in between the lines. It just means Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne can't get into those spaces. We've really struggled. Um, I think Stones has got to come on. Personally, I'd bring on John Stones. Have Diaz there. And then when City... I mean, Cancelo's got to come narrower sometimes because his quality is when he gets in here and he plays those passes over the top, you know, with the quality. But everyone has been poor. And like Red Eye saying there, Kevin De Bruyne is centre forward. Yeah, I mean, De Bruyne's got to be in around somewhere, hasn't it? De Bruyne's got to be there with Bernardo Silva in my eyes. Cancelo and Walker here. Rodri, and then Phone and Jesus making those run runs from outside to inside. I wouldn't bring Riyad Mahrez on City. Need to bring a centre back on. I think if it was half time on 11 men, I would have brought on um, Riyad Mahrez for Grealish, possibly. I'd uh, probably Grealish of any anyone. I think City have got to go with that in the second half. But the thing is with Palace, they're playing Wilfred Zaha here. And Zaha in that first half was sitting on Laporte. He realised Laporte is the, the weakness in the back. And he was getting all the way round Laporte like this, you know, spinning him every time. And you know, for the goal, Laporte, Zaha spun him. And when he's in one-on-one -on -one with Edison, Laporte's always going to get sent off uh, for doing that. I think Stones will show us up, ho hopefully, at the back a little bit. Um, I don't know what City can do here, to be honest with you. Tactically, where do you go? This is how I would do it. You guys, you know, you, you guys have your own ideas as well. I think City have got to bring on a centre-back. Because the issue is, if we don't bring on John Stones, for example, we don't bring on John Stones, we do bring on Maritz, like you said, for Grealish. We're playing pretty much one at the back. And you can't do that. You can't do that. City have got to get the back two because Crystal Palace, Edward and Zaha are playing pretty much on the centre-backs like that. Zaha here and Edward here. And they're playing on the centre-backs. Ayu's getting back. And it's pretty much a 4-4-2 from Palace. Kiate watching this left-hand side. And it's Zaha and Edward always there for the attack. So, I don't know how the game's going to go, guys. I don't know how the game's going to go. I, to be honest with you, I don't think Manchester City are going to get a win here. But we'll see what they can fight, see what they can do, and see if we can get back into this game. The City fans, there's no way of losing. I love this half-tactics thing. It's really good. Thanks for doing it, says Red Eye. Something I've been working on, actually, this week, so I thought I'd put it in there for you guys. And I thought it just gives you a bit more of a visual representation of how we're going to play. And that's how I think we're going to play in the second half. Tactically, in the first half, nothing worked at all, did it? Absolutely devoid of ideas. We had created one chance that I thought was typical City, where Jesus made a real good run here, which allowed De Bruyne to come round the outside of Palace with the ball, and he put a cross in, across the box, did Kevin De Bruyne. But no one was there. It was blocked away and cleared away the ball. And, and frustrating. Very frustrating. I'm going to have a little break over half-time. We will be back for the second half, which is not too far away. I will get a drink. I will get a snack as well. We'll be right back after this and a little short break. You guys, definitely leave some questions in there. Keep talking amongst yourself. It's going to be interesting. A very interesting second half, isn't it? We need to play more narrow and stop trying to force the cross into the box. It's gifting. Exactly. We're crossing to small players. And now we're not going to have a strike in that second half. I do expect Grealish to come off. We're right back after this little short half-time break. We'll see you guys shortly.
Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel for the second half, Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Palace is always the Etihad's most dangerous opponent, says Edgerin. We can come back like 2020, Crystal Palace is the City fan. There's plenty of you guys in the comments, it's good to see. Palmer on with Ferran, says Paul Taylor, unfortunately. Uh, Ferran Torres isn't the bench, he's injured, so no Ferran Torres to bring on. But we could bring Cole Palmer on, who at least has got a goal in him, hasn't he, Cole Palmer, which the rest of the City team don't. I, I assume John Stones will come on, to be honest with you. But we'll, we'll have to see. This is the Laporte disaster class, let's be honest. This is the worst we've ever seen from Imer at Laporte. And no doubt he won't play for a while now, Laporte, and he'll he'll start moaning again about his playtime. And and that's the way it's going to be. He's going to moan about his playtime, Laporte. Moan that he's not playing enough, but the fact is he's not playing because he's not very good, is he, at the moment? Uh the City fans' is prediction of 1-1 draw. Still in Ake, not the answer. And Starboy says a comeback. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Is City even going to make a half-time change here? Andre Mario sent to retention. Well, City don't make any changes at half-time. No half-time changes, guys. Same team. We've gone to a back three. It's Cancelo Walker in the back three with um with Diaz. Had if said Pep hasn't made any subs yet. No. Typical Pep's Pep formula, isn't it? Make no subs until the 70th minute. So here we go. City have got to try and make a difference, haven't they? Here. Got to try and do something. But whether they can, I don't know. Here's Phil Fone for Manchester City. Can't keep it in. Only 30 seconds or so into the game. I've got to turn my clock on there. 90th minute subs is Mr. Tyler. Exactly. I mean, he needs to make a sub. I think he needs to. I personally think he should have made a substitution there. Um, Mr. Tiger says, I told you all. You're right. You, you knew it. I think we all knew it deep down, didn't we? We're in denial sometimes as City fans, aren't we? That Pep will make substitutions. He's just been pushing through this five substitution rules for... The Premier League all the time. So we're going to have five substitutions, I think, from next season. Interestingly enough. But we've got five substitutions, but we don't even make one anyway. So, waste of your time. Second half underway. Um, Laporte. It's just a Laporte disaster class. But a disaster class from the full team. And Laporte was his, well, probably the worst of the lot. Cancelo was terrible at, at left back as well. And it's Diaz pretty much playing on his own at the back now. Which is an interesting tactic from Pep Guardiola. I think Walker's going to drop in alongside him when he can. And Jesus help out at right back. But it looks like De Bruyne is actually wide right at the moment. But De Bruyne, is, I mean, De Bruyne has been so poor as well. How long has De Bruyne been poor for now? That ankle injury, ligament injury has really done him. Ward here with arms all over Phil Foden. Referee says no free kick. Back to guy to the, the Crystal Palace keeper. He switched it to Mitchell. It's a terrible pass by the keeper. Tiambo is not happy with a 0-0. Or the 1-0 anyway to Crystal Palace. 129 votes now. Saying, well, this Vieira masterclass might mean he's ready. Could it? Phone near tries to take it down the box. Mitchell picks it up. And Mitchell clears it away. Zaha can't get in the end of it. Walker misses the ball. Good tackle by Diaz and Zaha. Rodri, Bernardo Silva. Jesus on side says referee. Jesus and Paul through to chat. Grealish here. Back to De Bruyne with a strike. And De Bruyne with a hit that goes behind for a corner. Linesman says he's definitely not offside, despite the Crystal Palace players protesting. Corner Manchester City. You thought for a second there, Grealish could have got a shot off. But you know the Palace player was so tight to him. Corner Manchester City. De Bruyne across to it. City chasing this game with 10 men here. Crossing from De Bruyne. Jesus in there. Falls to Bernardo Silva. Takes it down brilliantly, does Bernardo. Are we a threat for Liverpool at this point, says Mr. Tigerman? I don't think so. I think Liverpool uh, will win the league. Here's De Bruyne onto his left foot. Grealish. And he's left. Grealish into Rodri! Oh, and it's just over the bar by Rodri. Jack Grealish pulls it back to Rodri. And his left foot, he swings his foot at it, and it's just over the bar here. Good play from us. We find him. Space in the box finally. Looking like we've got a bit some idea. Pulls it back to Rodri. And it's just over the bar from the Spaniard. 
We're playing better with 10 men than 11, says Mr. Tiger Man. Well, possibly we were playing with 10 men with Laporte anyway. Oh, Crystal Palace in the attack here. Here's Edward. White to Gallagher. I using acres of space here. City in trouble. Are you? Pulls his head to the box here. Chance for MacArthur who sends it right into Rose Ed. Shocking. Mr. Tigerman says new tactic, get red card. New tactic, don't play either at Laporte. I think the positive to take from this in the end is that Stones will start playing again, which is good to see. And of course, Laporte will be suspended for the Manchester Derby next time, which means, you know, Stones has to play ahead of Laporte, which is great for John Stones being back in there. Him and Diaz playing it together once again. Here's Cancelo. Grealish. Shocking pass from Grealish. Out for a throw into Palace. We're just going to see how City do, haven't we? Do they have the fight, City, to get back into this? Don't know. You know, will they catch down the counter? Quite possibly. You know, a lot of trouble for that, playing just three at the back. Or well, one at the back, really. And Diaz, ward away. Towards the corner flag, and Cancelo let this run behind for a goal kick. Ball by straight back to Joao Cancelo. And straight into Edison for City to go again. 50 minutes of this game, nearly played. Now, and City are just going to have to chase this game out the best they can. Can they show the fight to get back in it? I'm not quite sure, but they'll give it a go. Here's Walker. I mean, I think last season papered over cracks a little bit about this team needing a bit of a revamp in areas. In the summer, we only made one signing, which was Jack Grish. Oh, what a ball by Roger over the top here to Phil Foden. Up against Ward. Phone against Ward. And Foden just runs it straight into Ward. And Geiter away. Gallagher down and Palace back in possession. I think the team needed a bit of a repamp in the summer. We needed a striker and things. We didn't do that. We only brought in Jack Grealish. I think that's costing us. But I think as fans, we all knew that would cost us. We all knew it would cost us. Conor Gallagher flops to the floor here. And, it, you know, anticipation of a bit of contact from Kinsella, which he does get. And it's a free kick here for Crystal Palace in a dangerous position. We need a striker, says the City fan. We've, we need a striker for a very long now, time now, haven't we, the City fan? And whatever reason, the board, the player, players, not so it's their decision, but the board anyway and the, the, the coaching, Pep, decide we don't need we don't need a striker. And that's going to cost us in the end, isn't it? We knew it cost us this season at some point, and it's starting to now, possibly. That being said, if I'm Eric Laporte didn't have a disaster class, we perhaps would still be at nil-nil here. Here's Conor Gallagher. Swinging by Gallagher. Chance for Palace. Free header for Guy who should score. Edison caught in no man's land. I don't know what Edison was doing there. He came and then realised he weren't going to get to it. He rises above Ruben Diaz here. There's the defender. And luckily it's headed over the bar for City. City are very lucky there that Palace don't go 2 up. Hallam will come in, I hope, says Adjin. I don't think he will come, to be honest with you, but it'd be a nice thought. Adson says, Vamos City. Well, I hope you're right. From Brazil. Gabriel Jesus, he's having a, a decent game, actually, Adson. Here's MacArthur. Back he goes to goalkeeper Gaita. Gaita out into Mitchell. Again, it's a shocking pass by the goalkeeper. I would consider one of the better ball-playing goalkeepers in the league. I think top is Edison. And second might be Aaron Ramsdale of Arsenal, if you watched him today. Incredible on the ball. And he's Edison for Manchester City. Bernardo Silva. Mackey goes to Edison. Edison still. Looking for a long pass over the top, Edison. That's a good ball out wide to De Bruyne. Mitchell gets there and City win a throw in. If we need to score, don't we, early, really? A point's not enough here, really, in this in this league at the moment. The quality that Liverpool and Chelsea have, especially. I don't quite know what the Chelsea score is, but I'm sure they'll, be, they'll win the game in the end. Is Cancelo, Grealish on the turn here. We need to see that £100 million magic from Jack Grealish, don't we, that we've not seen at all yet. Rodri, switch a play to De Bruyne. He's playing predominantly off the right-hand side here. Well played, Kev. Walker. Back to De Bruyne. Into Bernardo Silva. Back you go. Chelsea still nil. Harley says, who's Vamos? Vamos means let's go. <laughs> Harley. Here's Diaz for Manchester City. Foden. 
Paul says Spanish. Yeah, it's, it's Spanish and Portuguese, Paul. I think uh, actually Edson is is Portuguese. De Bruyne with a cross in here. Guy lumps it away. Chested down by MacArthur is Edward. A little flick over Bernardo Silva. Aye, Edward. Looking to have a run at Manchester City here. Good tackle by Bernardo Silva. The Verona can't win it back. It's a throw into City here. After the Palace player just runs it out of play. The City fans of Chelsea have had good chances, but Havertz has bottled them. Well, Havertz is living off a Champions League final goal, isn't it? Unfortunately for us. But for everyone else, that's the way it's been. Here's Diaz. Cancelo. Shocking pass by Cancelo. Straight into IU. He's pressing on him. And Cancelo is having a go at Diaz here. He didn't want the ball in that position. Vieira could. We're getting a win here at the Etihad. Paul says he honestly wants power. He's like the only one who can score recently. You're right, Paul. You know what? For a young man, isn't it? He? He, he's someone who actually has finishing ability, which the rest of the team doesn't seem to have for whatever reason. Here's Phil Foden. Foden for City. Still Foden. Still Foden. He's taken too long. He should have passed it. He does eventually to Jack Grealish. Here's Grealish. Cross the box. Straight into Ward. Corner Manchester City. City are trying. To be, to be fair to them, they are trying. But they're just not good enough at the moment. Not good enough. Palace are recovering really well to City's attacks. And a corner for City that Phil Foden has come across to take. Men in the box here. Foden, a low cross here. Jesus takes it down. Back to Phil Foden. First time swing in here. What a cross from Foden, but we've got no one to attack it. Everyone stands and watches it. De Bruyne with a foot on it and it deflects into the hands of Gaeta. Hadif says, we really need somebody who can finish, man. I know. I know. I know. I think everyone knows it. I think everyone knows you need someone who can finish. But we haven't got someone who can finish, unfortunately. I tell you what, even with Erling Carlton, we, we, we probably would have lost this game due to Laporte's performance and the team's performance. But at least he might have got us a draw because he, he, he'd score that one chance, wouldn't he? His conversion rate of, of the conversion rate of Erling Carlton is 60-odd percent. I think 67 percent. Now... Put that into perspective, people like Harry Kane and, and Lukaku, theirs is in the 50s. That shows how many chances Haaland scores. I think he's he's only taken something like 100 shots in his whole career, ridiculous. And scored nearly 100 goals, if not more. I was going to go to this match, look at it, says the City fan. Well, maybe you would have been a good luck charm for us, the City fan. Harley says, what are we doing? I don't know. We're trying, Harley, to be honest, but Rodgers give the ball away to Gallagher. We get a lucky with it. Bernardo back to Diaz. We're just, we're lacking ideas in, in the attacking phase. It's like there's no creativity. And if we do create anything, we haven't got someone on the end of it anyway. So the players just don't know what to do. Here's De Bruyne, a great flick into Jesus. Pass Goy, Jesus in behind the Kevin De Bruyne. City on the attack here. De Bruyne across the box. No, good defending from the Crystal Palace centre-back. Great defending. Here's Edward again. Mitchell. Pass back to goalkeeper Gaita. Gaita long and away. Cancelo beats Ayu in the air. And I'm throwing to Crystal Palace again. Pep surely is going to make a substitution at some point. Giffnitz says we need a striker that can pass and has good finishing ability. One that can come short for passes. I'll tell you what, Giffnitz, at this rate, I'll take anyone that can put a ball in the net. Anyone. Any, any footballer that claims or has a decent goal scoring record, just put them. At striker. Just put them at striker and let them hit it. Because anyone is better than the players we've got out there at striker, that is. Bernardo Silva to Walker and City are about to make a substitution. John Stones is set to come on. Oh, here's Jack Grealish. Great pass. Grealish. Behind to Jesus. Jesus with a hit and save by Geiter. No power on the shot from Gabriel. Jesus. And straight into the body of him. Grealish did well, but the pass to Jesus was a little bit too wide for him. And once he'd done that, oh, Zaha's in here. Zaha's in. One on one with Edison. Zaha through the legs of Edison. He's offside. He's offside, Zaha. But what is going on there? It will be checked by VAR.
Zaha's about five miles offside it. Linesman's not picked up on it for some reason. Could have been 2-0 past there. He's a mile offside here, Zaha. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why the linesman just didn't give it. So John Stones is coming on. Kevin De Bruyne is coming off. So De Bruyne are off. John Stones on. Interesting change. Interesting change. So John Stones is on for Kevin De Bruyne. Which is an, an odd substitution you'd say, wouldn't you? Stones, the long ball over top here to Phil Foden. Foden on the left foot. Foden swings in his right foot. Jesus, right at the far post. And Manchester City have scored. Great goal for Manchester City. Crystal Palace have been caught out. Gabriel Jesus for the goal. Stones with it. Stones comes on. He's been on the field minutes, if that. Raking pass over the top to Foden. Great touch on his left foot. Swings it to the far right and post his right boot. And Gabriel Jesus with the acrobatics. With a tap in. 1-1 back in the game here with 10, 10 men Manchester City. Good finish from Gabriel Jesus. Really, really good finish actually. Ball over the top which Jesus gets on the end of. And it's a great finish from that angle from Jesus actually. A really, really good finish. A tough one. But he's come out on top of. Oh, well, VAR checking this, however. Was Foden offside from the Stones pass? Could be. Ruled out this one. It could be ruled out here. VAR will check this. I think Phil Foden could be offside. VAR will check it. City will feel hard done by. Offside. Offside. Offside against the goal. No goal for Manchester City. VR at it again. Gabriel Jesus with another goal ruled out. I've just tried to sort out for you guys just on the screen so you can see. It should grey out. It should grey out the uh, Kevin De Bruyne just to show that we're on 10 men. So, there you are. And Stones is on the field now as well. So, just tried to update the team sheet for you there. So, still, it is 1-0 Crystal Palace ruled out for offside. Gabby's always offside to his City fan. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't even Jesus that was offside. It wasn't even Jesus that was offside. Still 1-0 Crystal Palace. Brighton a 2-2 over Liverpool, says Elijah. Interesting result. Well, if Liverpool drop points as well, that could be um, a lifeline for City, couldn't it? So, City still 1-0 down here, but we're going to go again. Ball by Rodri over the top to Jack Grealish. De Bruyne is off for City. John Stones is on. Kuate underneath it. Diaz there ahead of Zaha. Gallagher down. Kuyate. Y2. Joel Ward. Ward with the right foot long in behind to Wilfred Zaha. Still Zaha. Doesn't get anywhere with John Stones. He wins it back off him. And Stones shrugs him off. And Zaha can't get anywhere near Stones. And here's Rodri. Another ball over top here by Manchester City. Gabriel Jesus takes it down. Mitchell's on him. Jesus drops Mitchell to the deck here. Jesus. 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 Taken down the box. Referee says no penalty. Try to do a little bit too much there, Gabriel Jesus. Jesus looked like he's going to go around the defender, maybe on the outside, hit it with his right foot. He couldn't do. And here's Palace on the attack now. Andre Ayu. Or John Ayu, his younger brother, it is, isn't it? Joel Ward. Back to Anderson. Palace lived to fight another few minutes or so. Geiter into Gotti. Back to Geiter. Long ball forward here. Edward. Gallagher. City are definitely on more of the front foot though. Eh? Bit of confidence after that goal. Here's Ayu for them. Ayu here up against 
Diaz one on one. Ayu ooh, does Diaz well onto that left foot and puts the shot wide. And and I think Jack really is getting a lot of a lot of shouting at him from Kyle Walker there for not getting back and helping his side. And that's the last bit of action for John Ayu. Really, she's not getting back at all and helping his side out. Oh, Cancelo. So off comes Ayu. And on comes Christian Benteke, of all people. So we'll have to see. So City, still 1 0 down. Gifting says Chelsea are 1 0 up now. Well, there you go. I suspect Liverpool will get a win in the end. And City is still 1 0 down here, chasing the game against the side they always seem to lose against, Crystal Palace. Here's John Stones for City. Good pass. Stones has made the difference today. Stones into Grealish. Man of the match is John Stones. Oh, and Grealish taken down cynically by Conor Gallagher. Always going to be a yellow card for that. Always going to be a yellow card for that. Don't know how Gallagher's even moaning about that. Just kicks Grealish and takes him down completely. No even intention to hit the, you know, take the ball by Gallagher. Grealish has just said something to Gallagher with his hand over his mouth, meaning he doesn't want the cameras to pick that up. But Grealish is not happy with that tackle from Gallagher. So still 1-0 Crystal Palace. 65 minutes gone. Foden with a swing in. Nodded away. Poor cross. Cancelo. Shoo, good hit from Cancelo, but straight into the hands of Geiter, who drops in it and takes his time here, the goalkeeper. Cancelo's tried it a few times from range. De Bruyne has come off, so clearly Pep also thought De Bruyne was having a poor game. You know, you think De Bruyne would be the one to look for when he needed to score a late goal. Here's Ward. Gallagher. Gallagher moving behind here. Diaz against Zaha. Zaha drops to the floor here. Just runs into Ruben Diaz. He's not getting a free kick for that one, Wilfred Zaha. Zaha just throws himself into Diaz, trying to win a free kick here, the cheat. It's a cheating... Just, just a cheating player, isn't he, Zaha? Constantly. And then he'll go and cry on some podcast about how people say he dives. Clown. Here's Foden. Jack Grealish. Still Grealish. Still Grealish. Wins a free kick for his side here. Kiate right over him. Grealish into Foden. Great pass by Grealish. Quickly taken for the free kick here. Phil Foden. Foden down the box. Cancelo. Referee says no penalty. Andre Marin is having a blinder here. I don't think it was an entire penalty, but... But um, Zaha's a cheat, I tell you that. Zaha can't moan if City get a penalty for a dive. Here's Phil Foden. Foden to Jays. He's back to Phil Foden. 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 Gallagher with a foot in on Phil Foden here. And a free kick to Crystal Palace. Not the other way. Rudai says, who went off for stones? Kevin De Bruyne. If you look at the team sheet, Rudai, I've greyed out De Bruyne just because we are on 10 men. So since he's come off, I've greyed him out. Stones is at the back. Gallagher gets his foot in there. Gifnitz says Zaha acts innocent and knows people feel bad for him. Yeah, he's on the floor half the time, Zaha. MacArthur pushes Foden in the back here in the box. Foden goes down. Referee says no penalty. 67 minutes gone here. City on 10 men. Putting up a good fight. But it's not enough. They have had the ball in the net. But Phil Foden was a judged offside in the build-up. Geiter continues to take his time here. Andre Mariner. Crystal Palace is... Probably second best player today. Stones wins a header here. Giving away by Kiate to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo again. Bernardo over the top to Grealish. Great ball. Here's Grealish. Takes any stride. There's Jack. Grealish against Anderson. Grealish. Into Rodri. Switch out to Foden. Great touch by Phil. Foden with a cross in. Off. Joel Ward, corner Manchester City. We need Palmer and Mahrez, and both of them can at least finish his head if. Maybe. Redice says we need to win because Liverpool could lose a draw. Well, Liverpool will win, I think, Redice. I think Chelsea are going to win as well, and City will start to fall away from the pack then. 
Foden in the corner, swung in here. Right down the near post. Back to Phil Foden. He's got chance to pick a cross. Foden swings one into the far post. There, Jesus rises with a header. Leaps well, but gets right underneath it. And heads it a mile over the bar here. Gabriel Jesus. And City still 1-0 down. Gift it says Rexham are winning 1-0. Well, Ryan Reynolds will be celebrating. And Guaita takes his time again. Liverpool are currently drawing Brighton says a diff. Well, hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully it stays that way. Pep Guardiola says to Anthony Taylor, the, the fourth official. Guite is taking all the time he wants. Not happy. Not happy is Pep Guardiola. Here's Bernardo Silva. Cancelo, who's gone to the right now. Kyle Walker's gone in at centre-back. Stones into... Rodri. Rodri over the top here. What a ball by Rodri. Can sell chase his guy to off his line. And good collect by the Spanish goalkeeper. Edward. Guy sends it long. Walker keeps it in. Referee says a throw in for City. Bernardo with what looked like a foul throw in there. Foden on the turn here. Phil Foden. Oh, Gallagher with a late challenge on Phil Foden. Referee says play on. Giffnitz says Andre Marin has been great for Palace. He has, hasn't he? Probably their second best player after Zaha. Rodri over the top to Cancelo on this wide right hand side. Raul Cancelo. Shocking pass by Cancelo. He's had a shocker today, hasn't he, really? Here's Geiter. Grealish pressing him here. Geiter panicking. Sends it long. Good pressing from Jack Grealish there. City have a throw in. Walker. Bernardo Silva. Being pushed and pulled all over the place, Bernardo Silva. Free kick, Manchester City. No yellow card for the Crystal Palace player ever. Bernardo quickly into Rodri. Back to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo. Foden. Oh, he's got three players round him. He doesn't know what to do. Palace could counter. Well done, Diaz. Reads it. Foden. Getting kicked all over the place here, Phil Foden. Back to John Stones. Stones has had a great effect on the side since he's come on, by the way. His passing's fantastic. Diaz has gone to left back. Cancelo with a swing in. It's a shocking pass again by Cancelo. I tell you what, I'd get Joao Cancelo off. Rudai says, who's improved and who's got worse? Cancelo's got worse. I don't think it were possible, but Cancelo has got worse. Here's Gaita. Foden's got better. Grealish has got better. Bernardo's got better. Jesus has as well. Stones is Stones has completely changed the game for me at the back. Zinchenko for Cancelo says gift me anyone for Cancelo. I'd bring I'd bring Stefan on for Cancelo at the moment, the way he's playing. Here is Conor Gallagher. White to Zaha. Straight out of play. Zaha can't get on the end of it. And Zaha throws a little hissy fit as his teammate doesn't play the perfect pass into him. I'm very disappointed. No one's done a real crunching tackle on Zaha in this uh, second half. But there you go. Well, Edward, the striker for Palace, is coming off. And they're bringing on Jeffrey Schlupp, the full-back midfielder. Defensive from Palace again. No, don't blame them though, do you? Don't blame them. Big Bad Bunny is very annoyed. Rohingya says, who do you think will win? Crystal Palace. Monopus says, come on, Manchester City. Well, we'll have to see. Maybe throw cereal at Zaha, says Giftnit. That'd really hurt Wilfred Zaha. He'd be rolling on the floor for 10 minutes if you threw cereal at him. So on comes Jeffrey Schlupp. Here's Cancelo. It's actually Jack Grealish here. I placed the bet on Manchester City. I hope they don't lose. Well, I think they will do, unfortunately for you. <laughs> it doesn't like his way back into this game. Bernardo Silva for Manchester City. Why to Cancelo. Rodri. Into Ruben Diash. Phil Foden. Diash is making a run forward here. White to Grealish. One on one with Ward. Gallagher across to him. Grealish onto his left foot. Grealish. Oh. Grealish goes to cross it. Hits Ward, hits Ward. Hits him back in the face. And goes behind for a goal kick. Enders here. He says who's been the better side. 
Red Eye says Palace. Yeah, you might be right there, Red Eye. Probably Palace. They're winning 1-0, aren't they? They probably have been the better side. City have been useless. Absolutely useless for Manchester City. Shocking performance. And that's what happens. When you play poorly, this is what you get. Big Bad Bunny says, I wish I could say City. Palace have been better. And sometimes you have to admit, better side deserve to win. Oh, right. Linesman. I tell you what. Benteke goes for a header. Diaz just nudges him away from it. And Linesman says free kick to Crystal Palace. Linesman, shocking decision. Oh, Jesus here. Foul on Guy. Free kick to Palace again. City just getting really frustrated with themselves now. And the frustration is growing with every minute that passes by closer to the 90. Well, 175 votes, which is good to see. 58% of you think we should have Patrick Vieira, or could have. He's good enough to be the next manager. Double substitution for Manchester City coming up. Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez are coming on. Here's Gallagher. Ward. City knock it round the back. And so do Palace. Oh, City win it back through Phil Foden, who sends it long over the top here to Grealish. Grealish takes it down here, maybe. Grealish still. MacArthur beats him to it. Still MacArthur. Grealish across to him. And MacArthur runs it out, does he? No, it's still in play here. Foden battling for it. Anderson long and away. Good header by Diaz. Bernardo can't win it back off Gallagher. Diaz with a big tackle on Christian Benteke. Crunching challenge from the centre-back. Diaz. Oh, he's lost it here. Palace counter. Here's Benteke. White to Zaha. Walker in a race with Zaha. Zaha beats Walker, actually. Still Wilfred Zaha. Lifts it up to Benteke. Stones away. Benteke gives, gives Stones a, a push. Kinsel needs to fo stop forcing it over the top. Says Giffen. kinsel has been terrible. Foden. Diaz. Rodri. Bernardo Silva for Manchester City. Bernardo shocking pass out to Phil Foden. and it's really poor. And Palace back in possession here. Gallagher. MacArthur. Goy. Here's Jeffrey Schlupp. Into Zaha. Taken away from Walker. Why to Tariq Mitchell? Schlupp again. Palace the better side. Playing it, playing it around now. Can tell it's 10 against 11. Oh, great pass here. City in trouble. Wilfred Zaha. Why to Conor Gallagher? Gallagher. Strike from Gallagher. Save from Edison, but nearly put that one in the back of the net. Good save from Edison. Straight at him. You expect him to save it. I wouldn't be happy if he didn't. Chelsea 2 0 up now. Reese James has got a brace as Elijah. Well done, Gallagher. Worked a chance to get a shot off here. It's a good save from Edison. Really good save from Edison. I'm, li I'm lying there. That is sarcasm. It's not a really good save. Rudai says we need Aguero. Ricardo Williams says we need Aguero. Got rid of him, didn't we? We got rid of him. Cross comes in here. Header at the near post. Up and over the bar by. Guy in City. Do you make the changes now, I think? Who will be coming on for Manchester City? Raheem Sterling and Riyad Mahrez. So Mahrez is on for Cancelo. So Mahrez. And Grealish is off for Sterling. So Grealish on the field for 70, well, 80 minutes nearly now. 77 minutes he is off. So Mahrez and Sterling come on for City. Can they make the difference for us? We'll have to find out. Here's Diaz. Ball forward here. Not a great pass, really. Oh, and City lose it again. Crystal Palace away with Schlupp. I'll just update the team sheet for you guys so you can see. Benteke for Palace. MacArthur sends it long here. Wilfred Zaha will chase. Beaten to it by Kyle Walker is Wilfred Zaha. Back to Edison. Edison up and underneath it and away. City really are struggling today's game. They really have struggled. Schlupp. Walker. 
against Zaha. Clears it away. Bernardo still with a touch on it. Crystal Palace win it back here. Here's Benteke on the turn. Palace with a chance here. Ball through. Edison off his line quickly. And Edison comes out and picks it up. Brentford have got a goal. Palace is why do we let Aguero leave? I have no idea. I have no idea why we let Aguero leave. But for whatever reason, it seemed to be that we thought that was a good decision. When it clearly was not. Here's Diaz, wide to Riyad Mahrez from Manchester City. Looking to make an immediate impact is Riyad Mahrez. Rodri into Ruben Diaz for Manchester City. Foden on the left-hand side into Raheem Sterling. Sterling still, he's going to go left as well, I think, towards Diaz. And he does. Diaz in behind to Sterling. Can this be Raheem Sterling moment, by the way? Quite possibly. Diaz. Diaz. He swings on him with his right foot. Ruben Diaz. And it's into the hands of the goalkeeper. And Guy has not really been tested today, has it? At all. And the keeper's taking his time. 3 0 Chelsea. Chelsea are running right here. And Crystal Palace have had a player go down to their injury. Kiate has gone down with cramp. And that'll be a good time to waste a bit of time for Crystal Palace, which is exactly what they're going to try and do. Kiate has been brilliant in midfield for them, by the way. Absolutely brilliant in midfield for them. So, Zaha is going to be perhaps the match winner here today. The mistake by Aymer at Laporte. Give the ball away to Wilfred Zaha and Conor Gallagher. And that is what caught Manchester City out. Demello says 3-0 Chelsea yet. Yeah. Chelsea are running right clearly against who are they playing? But maybe Sterling comes on here and scores the winner. Or scores at least the equaliser. Bit of confidence for him to rescue a point for his side, but I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. Well, Liverpool did go down 3-2 momentarily. Trossard with a goal, but he's offside. And Ricardo Williams and Elijah let us know that it's Newcastle that Chelsea beat him on. Newcastle. They might have new owners, but they might get relegated, might they? They might get relegated. So, 80 minutes. 10 minutes go to left in this game. Can City show a bit of fight? Can City get back into this one? A couple of City fans leaving already. So, Crystal Palace still wasting time. Phone has to throw it back to Crystal Palace. I tell you what, I wouldn't be doing that. Here's Geita. Geita long. Zaha. Well done, Diaz against Zaha. He's throwing his shoulder on him again. Sterling trying to get it around the corner. Bernardo Silva in the middle here for City. Bernardo Silva. White to Raheem Sterling on the right-hand side. Here is... Foden. Walker with a cross in. Oh, my word. Kyle Walker with one of the worst crosses we've seen all day. And we've seen some bad ones. Just sends it straight into the stands. Straight into the stands by Kyle Walker. Shocking cross. Just abs We're lacking so much quality in the final third today. It's unbelievable. I just don't know what's going on with this City team. I mean, City clearly need a goal scorer in the team, don't we? We clearly need a goal scorer. Sterling's got two goals in 30, his last 34 appearances. That tells you all we need to know about him. Ball forward. Walker forward with the header. Mahrez in there as well. Rodri. Oh, straight underneath it. Up. Jesus trying to take it down here. Well done, Sterling and Jesus. In behind to Jesus here. Gabriel Jesus running it. Goy. Goy. Oh, crossed it. Hits Geiter. In the arms. Picks it up with Crystal Palace keeper. I can't see a score in here today. I just can't see us even getting a goal at all. City have been shocking. Absolutely shocking. And to be honest with you, we don't deserve to win this game. 83 minutes gone here. 1-0 down. And we just don't deserve to win this game. Diaz with a header. A header Benteke. Kiate back to Ward. Ward up and in behind to Zaha. He's offside and it fought, bubbles through anyway. Ridai says this is like your FIFA career mode. This, I tell you what, FIFA career mode predicted the way the season was going to go for me, didn't it? 
If you, if you haven't watched our FIFA career mode, go and watch it on FIFA 22. The last episode is out next week for Season 1. And we've had a pretty similar season to the way, the way this one could go. Here's Rodri for City. I think I lost at home to Palace, did I? This result will be cru crucial later in the season, said Ender. Quite right, Ender. That's when it's going to cost us, isn't it? Jesus for Manchester City on this left-hand side. Jesus. Oh, it's Mares, actually. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo. Away from MacArthur. Rodri. No movement at all. Bernardo into the box here. Lumped away from Palace. 84 minutes played. Throwing for City. But the game will be slowed down because there will be another substitution here for Crystal Palace. And Elise is going to come on. For the number eight, Kiate. He's going to take his time here. The Senegalese holding midfielder. Strolling off very slowly. Before they get Elise on. The man who came from Reading, was it? Lit up the championship. Good signing for Crystal Palace. Don't think he's made many appearances for him though this season. Though he's a very, very young player. So on comes Elise for Crystal Palace. Young player of the year in the championship, I think. So here is John Stones to Manchester City. Stones, Bernardo Silva. Under pressure. Gets away from Schlupp. Well done, Bernardo. Why to Riyad Mahrez? Can he provide a magic here, Mahrez? Mahrez. Pass Mitchell. Tackled. And it's a corner, is it? No, Linesman says it's a goal kick. City, City can't even get the ball in the box at the moment. Oh, and Mar Andre Mariners waited till the 85th minute to book Guy to 85 minutes. Well done, Andre Mariner. He's done it 85 minutes too late. So well done. He's been able to waste time until the 85th minute. And now you book him now. Clown. Absolute clown refereeing from Andre Mariner. 85 minutes it's taken him to book uh, Guy to for time wasting the goalkeeper of Palace. 85 minutes. If he just did it in the first minute, then he wouldn't do it anymore, would he? Terrible. Terrible refereeing. Here's Jesus. Lost out here. And here's Elise. And the ball in behind to Christian Benteke here. Palace could look for the killer. Oh, I'm giving away. Gabriel Jesus. Jesus White to Riyad Mahrez. Man City and Liverpool drop points and Chelsea will be ripping their hands together, won't they? Thomas Tuchel could be on the way to a Premier League title this season. Rodri, three Palace players around him. No help at all. No support. Gives it away. Palace again. Zaha, please Walker. Just go through him. And Walker wins it back off Zaha easily. Well done, Kyle Walker. Rodri. Back into Stones. Diaz lifting forward at left. We need to up our game, says Giffney. I don't think we can. Stones. Terrible pass. Just lumping it forward now. Rodri heads it wide to Mares. Bernardo Silva. Back to Mares. City on the halfway line, just messing around with the ball. No use. John Stones, who's come on and played well. I'm sure he'll play much more football for us now. Here is Rodri. Wide to Riyad Mares. Mares into Bernardo Silva. Over the top here. Diaz in the box there. Can't get in the bit. Conor Gallagher into Elise. Palace counter. Here's young Elise. Up against John Stones. Elise. Great play. Zaha again. Still Zaha. Into Elise. Gallagher with a strike. 2 0 Crystal Palace. And it's game over here. City have lost. Our first defeat since match day one, says Elijah. Palace make it 2-0. Palace have beaten Manchester City here. Good play from Palace. Carter's out on the counter. Jay says game was wrapped anyway. Well, the game was over anyway, wasn't it, at 1-0. And the fans are leaving at the Etihad. What a terrible performance. Terrible performance. We regroup against United next week. Well, if we're going to get done on the counter by Crystal Palace, I tell you what, Manchester United might not be a good team, but I tell you, they will beat us on the counter. 
They will smash us on the counter. This could be a destroyed by Manchester United. Edison doesn't do anything there. Not much he can do. It's off the post, it ain't. Conrad says the ref's a Palace fan. Yeah, the ref's been terrible, but we've been terrible as well, haven't we? Good finish from Gallagher. 2 0. Shocking from Manchester City. And Palace. What a performance from them. A 2 0 win at the Etihad Stadium. For Conor Gallagher and Wilfred Zaha and Crystal Palace. And City know this game over now. I don't think City can even be bothered anymore. And to be honest, Eric Tenard should be the new manager. Embarrassing performances, Ricardo. Well, this gra the ground is absolutely empty. That Laporte red card killed us. You're quite right, Big Bad Bunny. That red card killed us. I merit Laporte killed us with his performance anyway. Here's Zaha. Still in drop Zaha here. Zaha just falls to the floor. Free kick Crystal Palace, a foul from Raheem Sterling. Well, not much good Sterling's done for this team, has it, since he's come on. And not much good from um, Mahrez either. Both have made absolutely no difference to this team since they've come on in the second half. Absolutely no difference to the side at all. Um, I mean, we are on 10 men. We are out of this game anyway. But um, they've made no difference at all. So two defeats in a row. For Manchester City, 90th minute, beckons here with a terrible performance. Long ball by Palace. Benteke knocks it on. Through to Edison here, who gets nearly caught out by Benteke. This team just don't seem to know what they were doing. The Big Bad Bunny says they were the better side. Exactly, Big Bad Bunny. Palace are by far the better side here. The rest been rubbish, yes. But they've been the better side, haven't they? Ball into the box by City. Mahrez is in there. And Palace lump it away. Rodri down to Bernardo Silva. Stones. Rodri. Rodri on the spin here. Elise all over him. Is it monumental in the goal, Elise? Elise can't get in the end of this one. Throwing to Manchester City. City all the possession. Nothing to do with it. Here's Edison. We lost because of the red card and the referee is Big Bad Bunny. And our performance. I don't think we would have even won it if they weren't a red card, to be honest with you. We were terrible. Burnley with the first one of the season. A 3-1 win over Brentford. Diaz with a kick on Zaha, who's crying on the floor again. You're offside, Zaha. Get up and stop crying. Here's Mares. Gallagher with a good tackle. He's been very good, Gallagher. I tell you what, on loan from Chelsea... If you're a Chelsea development scout, whatever, you'll be watching him and thinking, you know what, let's let's get him in. He'll play for his next season. Palace was the better team, says Manupa. Quite right. Here's Rodri. Wide to Jesus. Jesus into Rodri. Bernardo Silva across to Sterling. Sterling across the box here. Straight into MacArthur and cleared away by Crystal Palace. You're going to hang on now with five minutes added time for the lead. We can blame the referee all we want, guys. We can blame a lot of things. But at the end of it, even if there wasn't a red card, City would have still lost this game because they were shocking. They've been shocking all game. They were shocking before the red card. Rodri. Walker. The red card just completely, you know, killed the game. But it was way the game was going anyway. Stones. Mahrez on this left-hand side. Mares gives it away here. Schlupp on the counter. Could Palace make it 3-0 here? They're looking to do so. Schlupp. Across to Benteke and read by Kyle Walker. His positioning for the second Palace goal was really, really poor. Bernardo Silva. Still into the right spin. Raheem Sterling here. Could cross this one in Sterling. Onto his left foot Sterling. Back onto his right foot down the box. A slip from Sterling. You can't do much else. Elijah just blame Laporte. Yeah, Laporte it fell massively. Has to be said. Well, maybe we won't win the Premier League, but we can go for the Champions League. I tell you what, big bad bunny, if we can't win, if we can't beat Crystal Palace, we won't win the Champions League. I can't see it. But it's not just Laporte; it's on the full team here today. Here's Elise, and some of it's got to be on Pep as well. Did he motivate the team at all? Because it didn't seem like they were bothered about playing today. Throwing for City, Elise can't believe it. They asked to take it. 
Here's Stones. Rodri. City's performance deflated like the fans here. Jesus can't beat Ward to the tackle. Here's Joel Ward. Here's Ward. Zaha. Flicked over the top to Ward. Ward still. Skip round Diaz. Holding it in the corner flag is Joel Ward. Stones in there to win it back. Well played, John Stones. It's a free kick to Manchester City and Ward kicks it out of play. City deserve to lose this game, don't they? Let's be honest. We deserve to lose this game. Palace play better, said Manos. Per They're quite right. Quite right. Palace have been by far the better side. Jesus. Forward for City here. Into Phil Foden. Shocking pass from Gabriel Jesus. All the way back to Vincente Gaita. Chelsea and Liverpool for the title. I think so. I think this definitely means City are out of the title race, to be honest with you. I definitely think City are out of the title race here. After today's result. But um, we have to see, won't we? You know, Liverpool and Chelsea could also drop points. I think Liverpool have, have dropped points have they, against Brighton, which is, is probably good. But Chelsea haven't. They've managed to get three points, haven't they? Rodri. Across to Kyle Walker. Chelsea top of the Premier League table now with 22 points. Five points clear of Manchester City. Sterling, ball in. Mares with a header and Riyad Mahrez with a free header wide of the post. And that should be it now, shouldn't it? I think it will be it. So the results around the league. Leicester City nil, Arsenal 2. Burnley 3. Brentford 1. Liverpool 2. Brighton 2. So Liverpool drop points. City, of course, nil. Crystal Palace 2. Newcastle nil. Chelsea 3. And Watford nil. Southampton 1. Chelsea top of the Premier League table. Five points clear of Manchester City. And they're also... Three points clear of Liverpool. Full time. Congratulations to Palace. Shocking for Manchester City. Not much more needs to be said. Deserved win for Crystal Palace. Deserved win for Patrick Vieira, the manager. As you guys said, possibly after that Vieira masterclass, they could be ready. He could be ready to manage Manchester City in the future. The players going down the tunnel. City have got to be disappointed with that. Thank you very much for joining us on the stream. Please do like the video if you haven't liked it already. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It's been great to have you. Keep up with all the content here on the channel. And always check out the community tab. Always check out our community tab for all the latest Manchester City news. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.